PM cannot be bothered to do the intro on the count he is wailing in the corner about his life decisions. Or playing Wuthering Waves. Maybe both. Insert the jingle here. What if the real world could lag? Stop that, that's terrifying! Tethers and Elin! The unhinged, unstoppable force slash immovable object of a killing machine hunting you and your friends through the city for sport is Transfam! Yay! You get that one dude in the group who's like, Oh my god, he's gonna kill us! And all of the heads turn to look at that guy like, Bruh. Guys, they're selling autism at Walmart now! Um, uh, Billy? We have autism at home? 11 out of 10 dentists agree. Biting solid uranium is bad for your teeth. We aren't sure where that guy came from, but he seems to know what he's talking about. Hate to say it, but Apple saved art today, by the way. By making AI art easily accessible to Facebook moms and grandmas with their new Apple Intelligence Image Generation feature, AI image generation is going to become synonymous with cheap iMessage fodder between nephews and uncles and shit. Thanks, Apple! He's right. Once Grandma sends an AI image of a minion with a very distorted Roblox Chad face farting, it's all over for AI. By the way, machines can never produce true art because they can never be horny. The first step to making any piece of art. Rule 34? More like rule 69. <laughs> Sleeping with a blanket is low-key girl the AF. That's just me, though, double shrug. Fellas, is it gay to not want to freeze to death at night? Yeah. What do you gotta be warm for? A man? Oh, my current ranger Funkos make the pansexual flag. This is brilliant. Oh, this is so cute. Wait a minute. Hatsune Miku! <laughs> now this is the content I came to see on this website. They're learning how to open .rar files. <laughs> my dad just came in and gave me this egg. It says high school was getting rid of it and asked if I wanted it. You said yes? Well, why wouldn't you? It's a big egg. I don't have PTSD. That's all just the wizard's curse. The wizard is my mother, but that's not relevant. We ask that the defense not say, me when I lie, while the witness testifies. Me when I want to cover up the truth. Hey, will you push the button? 99% chance of getting a million dollars. 1% chance of becoming a girl. As a completely cis dude, I would press this button immediately, without question. There are a lot of things I would do for money, but shit, I'd do this for like 20 bucks. Maybe less? She said with all too much confidence. A day?! How powerful is this button?! Uh, the edible task of doing the dishes... Sisyphen! Sisyphen! To be fair, I assumed you meant this as the motherfucking task of doing the dishes! <laughs> Ugh. Abandoning atheism because I gotta believe there's a hell for some of you. <laughs> Anxieties, attack! Wait, no, 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 not me, you fools! No, not like this! No! <laughs> Screaming, crying, throwing up, defrogatory. I hate asking references to be my references. It's like, hi, ex-boss, I haven't thought of you since the last time I begged you to help me get a new job. Can you help me with that again? I meant derogatory! <laughs> oh, we're off to a good start today, folks. I think the steady removal of headphone jacks has a direct correlation to the amount of people who don't use headphones in public. Please return the hole! Or, you know, bring iPods back around. Just not, not, not the iPod Touch, the one with the clicky wheel. I like that one. My brother keeps calling Kinger Kingpin. I'm gonna commission you, Pomni! And it's going to be weird. Ah, uh, just pulled an all day or mm mm, didn't have a nap. Time to pull a no nighter. We. I need to train in a temple for 50 years. Bye. Never mind, they wanted to teach me discipline and patience instead of the hundred man slang fist technique, so I don't care anymore. Writing prompt. The monster is well aware of its typical victims, and it knows human eyes don't glow. Another victim of the cat girl. It finally ended. Sports! We did it! We're finally free! Tiger, who cracked her own tooth, is fitted with a gold tooth implant. That 
is the single hardest thing on the planet. Guys, how's it feel? You're never going to be as cool as this. Mm. Me looking at my brain. Um, L and Light did, in fact, match each other's freak. And it had dire consequences for the world at large. Happy Pride to them only, love wins! Generically medieval. By which we mean our peerage is French, our castles are German, our weapons are Italian, and everybody speaks English. And you can have religion in one of two flavors. Woohoo! Aesthetic garnish! And sinister state control and bad allegory for problems in modern Christianity. Also, the latter is aesthetically French Catholic, theology German Protestant, and has the institutional structure of the Church of Scientology. Not to mention that this land is simultaneously inhabited by thinly modified northern Vikings, Nordic pre-medieval slash 9th century, traveling Mongols, European medieval 13th century, and a wealthy Italian merchant family with a house full of oil paintings, southern European renaissance 15th century, and the dance of the day is waltz, refined German 18th century country dance. But it'll only actually be called inaccurate if the adaptation chooses to add a black person. Fuck, why is it real? <laughs> hey guys, <gasps> wait, what was that? It's the Bonoy. Oh shit, was that a bunny? I think it's called a bubby. Many helpful reports from our teams in the field. You draw hats so well, and I'm like so amazed by it because every time I try it, it looks like they're wearing buckets. How do you draw them? Pringles. Shit, wait, this actually works. Is Mario okay? Mario is reflecting on life, wondering why there's so much fighting and bloodshed having to fight people like his brother and lover on the battlefield, and getting his ass handed to him on a regular basis. It, it's just too much. His spirit is broken. Things are not wahoo anymore. I have a question for God. Why? I'm just saying, if your story has a spooky, mysterious character with a hidden face, and you have them not be some sort of creature or an inhuman, possibly eldritch horror in the vague shape of a person, then what's even the point? Have the mass vigilante secretly be a terrifying monster like God intended. Just do it. Or make it a bunny. I feel like you're evolving into Pakicho 3.0. I, I don't even know who that is. Who's 2.0? Why am I third? I'm this! This next video goes out to that one guy who said, Oh, you probably shouldn't do these because it would likely would attract more negative attention. I'm just kidding. I know you meant well. But, like, if people are spending their time writing negative comments online, they got nothing else going on. I mean, take a look at all the people who are writing the most unhinged things a joke at right now for doing... Uh, let me just check my notes here. Um... Liking and respecting women and doing a funny little video about it. Hmm. Average game mod comment section. Like! In fact, I wanted to play the mod with these new levels. Where is Link? Link? Hi, give me Link, please. Link! Link! Let me guess, the link was in the description section that they usually ignored. Speaking of edge of games, game is Midnight Fight Express. Name of the game? What game is this? It's right there! There's another comment asking for the game name, too! I swear, this happens... too often. Like, the game's main character could say, So this is Genshin and Star Rail Waves Waifu Collector 3D, and people would still be like, What's the name of the game?! Oh, this one was submitted to me from Doc M 77s section. Hermitcraft players, rise up, this one's for you! Doc! Why are you pandering to the pride people? You are straight, right? Why change your videos for them? I know you don't give a damn about viewers' respect, but you lost man. Well, wake up. Pandering to the pride people. Listen to yourself. These pride people you're talking about. You mean Cleo or Jem, my friends? You want to talk about respect? I don't think you're qualified to do so being the most disrespectful prick with this comment. <laughs> Doc, you a champ. You weren't a sub. This one came from my Vivian doodle that I did because your thousand year door came out and everyone loves that girl. 
until... That's a boy. The English translators forgot to add he's a cross-dresser. Not trans-inky on English. It is even said that way. Hi, Bellum. Maybe I'm remembering my history wrong, but didn't like when Thousand Year Door originally came out, people wanted Vivian to be confirmed as a girl, and like, now that she is, it's a, it's a problem? I don't, I don't know. Was I missing something? You already know where this one came from. <gasps> yeah! Guys, it's a joke. It's a squirt gun. Relax. Alright, this one came from, uh... <laughs> Sorry, I'm already laughing because I already know how I want to do this. This one came from an OC adopter that I uh, put up on the drawing channel. Yo, she gotta hit the gym! Well, heck yeah, she's adorable. Also, she is a literal alien. For all you know, that's a supermodel level body type on her planet. Whoever ends up buying her, uh, add that in. Let's ruin this guy's day. Pfft, aliens aren't real. Get real. Ironic uh, what, what he's saying right here. Me. If a character with large assets and a reasonable waist is fat to you, I would hate to show you some actual chubby women. You might explode or something. She literally has a tiny cylinder of her torso. What do you mean she got hit the gym? Chubby stomach is tiny cylinder? I guess in hindsight it is a bit chubby. I was just looking in terms of comparisons and... With the rest of the body. Uh, no. In fact, a chubby stomach is an indication you got hit the gym. All right, cool. Let me know when you see fictional people at the gym. They kept trying to follow up, but it was just contrary after contrary. I think it's just, they had nothing else going on. Either that, or they had a gym membership they were just trying to sell, or they have a fetish for people going to the gym. I mean, there is that one anime about people constantly working out, right? I'm pretty sure that. Hello, things and people. This is the internet, after all. All right, this one is about Nightshade. No, not the critically hit game, the one that protects artists from AI. I feel like treating Nightshade as an illegal piece of malware is like saying home security cameras should be illegal because you're taking away the house robber's main source of income. <laughs> exactly what I was thinking. And then here comes the contrarian in three, two... I understand not wanting your art being used, but ruining the model with only 50 of the images affected by Nightshade is insane. Especially when you can't really tell what image is causing it. It is actually insane. It shouldn't be the path to take, like it would waste countless hours for people just trying to make small AI projects like image recognition. It will also make AI models eventually become better or not get affected as much by it if you're gonna get offensive how much you want to bet red guy here doesn't actually give a shit about this? Chances are they probably just want to keep the AI generator intact so they can make anime waifu number 47 with five tits, a cow nose, and holding a hot dog for some reason because no artist would want to draw that for them and they're just being a vindictive little bitch. I look forward to the comment that says, I would have drawn it for him. I would have done it. My therapist. So, how are you doing today? Me. Hey, yo, that hygiene meter? Is your therapist washing you? Used her hand sanitizer. You know, they should invent talking with a friend that doesn't require a conversation topic or the ability to otherwise come up with things to say. This is why they invented just going at each other. Oh, so that's how VTubers talk to each other. What is love but doing the chores the other hates to do? Asexuals don't come out of the closet. <laughs> we come out of the deck. Yeah. My mom bought an All My Children Have Paws mug in an effort to disown us in favor of her dogs, but she's blissfully unaware of the fact that two of her children are actually furries. Yo, why is Fallon eating the post? She just does that sometimes. You gotta keep an eye on her. One of the weirdest things ever on here is when people try to get you to be more active on Twitter on Tumblr. Like, no. Why do you think we're here and not there? Tumblr, we got a simple rule. We just steal the posts from Twitter and then we put them on Tumblr, so therefore I read them as Tumblr posts even though they're Twitter's posts. Those are the rules, guys. We're all aware of this. Vampirism poses the question, what if there was a fundamental, horrible, unending well of want in your soul that, if truly satisfied, would lead to a great pain for all those you hold closest, and in turn, their absolute and total revilement of you? And naturally, as a person with no problems, I don't relate to this in any way at all. Vampirism also poses the question of, what if someone you loved, through no fault of their own, needed something from you? 
and giving it to them and seeing them happy provided you the greatest joy. And you were the only one who could do it, but at the same time, it was slowly draining all of your life out of you. Which is also a completely unrelatable idea to me because I am a normal person with no issues. Mm -mm. Um, the irreversible side effects of HRT? All of life is irreversible. I cannot go back a single second in time. And I know what I want. I know the risk. Everything has risk. I am already living. Why am I living half a life because of what you fear? Stop talking down to transgender people. Just stop. Okay, real talk though, all of life is irreversible is a pretty fucking hard statement. Chat, they discovered a new coat type of cats. It's called salmi elk or salty licorice and it looks like this. Oh, cookies and cream. PM Seymour and my Genshin Impact playthrough? You have no idea how much it accepts me that this entire quest line does not have voice acting in it because I would have loved to voice Seymour the robot dog in the last... I guess I'll just have to settle for this guy. I'd intended to win the contest through skill alone all along, but then you showed up. After watching the semifinals, I knew that I didn't stand a chance, but I wasn't about to give up on the vision so easily after coming all this way. Since there was no use in trying to face you in the match, I decided to put my skills to good use while everyone's attention was on you and Beto. Yeah, that, 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 that was me. I, I, I played that guy, officially. Okay. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> Illuminati and James Summerton be like, Because citing sources killed my grandma, okay? Technically, we are all always lapping. Because the self is only a construct. I want a new character. Become one. Hey, what are some fun beginner crimes for someone getting into lawlessness? YouTube to MP3. You don't just say the truth out loud. The Doctor and the Master implies a third, less prestigious renegade Time Lord named... The Bachelor. Hmm. An immortal who regenerates into new bodies but maintains the same core identity and continuity of memories, even if they're marked changes in personality, you say. Weirdly fixated on England, you say. The Bachelor, you say. May I propose a theory? Blood bounces quite strikingly on snow, not only because of the obvious color contrast discrepancy, but the large difference in temperatures. Another post add to the list of, I swear I'm not a serial killer, just a writer. I'm not even a writer, and this is awesome. I'm not even a serial killer, and I love this. I'm a serial killer. You know, if you spend too many hours online, you can cancel out the negative effects by going outside and eating several handfuls of dirt. This works because dirt is the opposite of internet. Trust me, I'm a doctor. Nobody's mad at me. Nobody's mad at me, and if they were, they would say so. Nobody's mad at me, and if they were, they would say so, and if they haven't said so, then it's not my responsibility to read into their silence. Nobody is mad at me. It's very deep. It's very powerful. Meanwhile, on the other side of Tumblr... PENIS! IN THE DISK DRIVE! DO NOT! To the individual that said that sounds like I start these videos waking up and then go back to sleep, you're wrong. It is like triple digits hot over here right now, so I'm like melting as I'm recording these. Well, let's get started, you little f friggin' binguses. Good reasons to get stronger. One, lift girlfriend. Two, lift wife. Someday, I hope. Three, protect women. Four, intimidate men. See? This is healthy masculinity. No, no it's not. This is me being a lesbian. <gasps> Trigon is a show about how freeze jazz saxophones can inflict physical pain. It was also my first queer awakening. Holy crap, look at this man. I recreated a 400-year-old alchemy potion for depression and then tried it. Men will literally study Paracelsus, translate 1600s alchemical texts, and distill potions for melancholy before going to therapy. You don't know, maybe the therapist told us to do that. You, you a wizard? Hi, y'all. I open my service book and can't remember how often I'm supposed to change my possum. Please advise. Warm and comfy mobile home. Let him be. It's so weird because as weeboos, we all started out watching Bleach and Naruto, and now the weeboo starter pack is Sao and Attack on Titan, and some kids don't even know what Bleach and Naruto are. Yeah, you know, someone whose weeboo starter pack was DBZ and Gundam Wing, this entire post hurts. How do you do, fellow kids? They missed a trick now calling it Legend of Link. What does that see? Give me my stuff. We have listened to our fans to answer the question on everyone's mind for 40 years. 
What if Zelda was a girl? A breeder in Netherlands has been working to make French bulldogs healthier breeds. <gasps> My god, they actually look like dogs now. Lord, the changes do pugs next! Cowboys never die. They just ride off into the sunset. Is that what your parents told you when you came back from school one day and your cowboy was missing? <laughs> you just you want to do another ranch, y'all. Just stop it! When I was a kid, for some reason, I thought Lola Bunny's last name was Rabbit, and that she was actually Jessica and Roger's daughter. And the reason she wasn't in the original Looney Tunes is that she just wasn't born yet. I mean, can you blame me? L look at them and look at her. She's got a good blend of both the features. This is the only good headcanon I've ever had, to be honest. Yeah, I'll incorporate that to my belief system. I totally believe this. It's, they're, they're onto something here. Today on my brain, am I in love, physically ill, mentally ill, having a panic attack? Who the fuck knows? I sure as hell don't. Oh, day we're day now. If cats aren't meant to be kissed on their heads, then what's the little space between their ears for? Certainly not their brain. If your straight guy friend says that he supports gays, tell him you thought he was gay when you first met him. See how fast he gets upset and insecure and starts asking you why you thought that. Yeah, my gay guy friend tried this to our straight friend and the response he got was, Thought. More like hoped. And then he winked. That's a real ally right there. He really just scalped your poor gay friend on the spot, didn't he? I hate saying things because I don't know how much background information I'm going to have to give to make the things I just said make sense. Why is autism like this? Going to sleep, and by sleep, <laughs> well, let's just say, phone in bed. Going to wake up, and by wake up, <laughs> well, let's just say, phone in bed. The brushes you use for digital art don't actually matter much, and it's more about core art principles than technique or whatever, but maybe this next brush will be the one, maybe? Every time I see a transgender Scott Pilgrim take, I love that it's prefaced with, this would not fix her. They understand. Life is just a series of side quests and grinding until you're strong enough to fight your dad. I'm sorry, did you mean... Oh, it's, it's, it's the patch notes again. This has been a while. Um, we're gonna need, we're gonna need a funky new background color scheme for this one. <laughs> ah, there we go. Those are, those are game of colors, right? Yeah. I'm sure the RGB boys are coping and seething in the corner right now. Added crab aberrations. Crab aberrations. Adding a new filter to the encyclopedia to display crabs. Hearthstone fixed the bug where Banana couldn't have a flying mustache. That That's a very important patch note. Game development's hard. Patch notes for 2.07. Coffee guy now drinks coffee. Very important. <gasps> Wait, this is me. This is me on that guy. That's my whole brand right there. At least according to the internet. When it's not drawn, the thick elf. Additional new features and improvements. Ducks now breathe. As duck should. Good. Remove normal slime voiceovers from ferals. It was hard to be intimidating when you sounded dead, drawn, cute. Hose a little scrunkles. Patch notes for 2.09. Fixed a bug where hitting an underwater block with a snowman mafia bullet would cause a crash. Added fruit smoothie color scheme. Snowman mafia bullet sounds like the greatest underground ska band ever. Fix the steam rifles reload train whistle. Thank you. <laughs> God damn it. Thank you, Autistic Gazelle, drenched in latex, for telling us train facts for our game and telling us that the whistle came from the main diesel engine villain in the Germany edition of the movie. Please, please don't sue us, Hasbro. To the owner of that username, God bless you. Items like plorts and veggies now have soft sound effects when striking surfaces. No, we didn't obtain these sound effects by throwing live chickens at a wall. Who told you that? You can now speed up quad laser bullets by hitting them with a sword in the same direction. Why wasn't this possible before? Bananas are no longer made of metal. Drum set now appears in front of blocks. Can't believe Duck Game allowed this. The rule of the moon and nights. No one is supposed to touch the quad laser. Fixed bugs related to the way the player moves along the edge of steep slopes. Prevents some cases where the player would get caught and be unable to move forward for a few moments. No, we didn't grease all the sides of every cliff in the game. That's, that's not even a thing. Improved slime mouth rendering to show depth. Are you still reading? 
Improved how light shines on the slime body materials to increase highlight quality. Improved grass animation quality. Increased flower prop detail. You're still reading, huh? We're talking about flowers here. I don't think Slime Rancher devs understands how high quality the autism is in gamers right now. Fixed an issue where Gur was crashing in the game shortly after being deployed. Oh, look, there he goes. Well, with that over, I'm sure the guy who was about to write a rant about me joking that game development is hard is probably finished. And I'm going to go read that now and see what they have to say. Bye! Human, what is this, um, Animal Crossing New Horizons? Oh, it's a game where you build up an island using mostly the resources around. Does it involve space travel or interstellar combat? Nope, just relaxing and developing a community on an island resort. I see. What? What's the catch? Just, just play the game. Three weeks later. Human, why are people obsessed with collecting virtual arachnids? All right, Tarantula Island. What? What? What is this Toho project? Oh, it's a bullet hell game series based on our old beliefs. Why is it near impossible? Yeah, that small red dot. That's your hit box. Still seems very hard. It is. Is this how you guys de-stressed? Is it? Human, I have a question about your number system. Be, yeah, go ahead. You say there are even numbers. Yep. And odd numbers. Mm-hmm. And despite them going hand in hand, you humans seem to be only worried about the odds and seem very possessive over them. What? I hear humans in casual and sometimes formal conversation refer to odds and our odds, and it makes me ask, is there a species called odds? H Hello, human? Oh no, I think I broke this one. Human, remember how you told me about flat earthers? Yeah, yeah, what about them? I, I recently learned of the phrase, pride comes before the fall. Could it be possible that these flat earthers could be getting close to their demise? Uh, it's possible, but it's sure it's taking its sweet time. I feel like the only way to get rid of them would be if... If what? Hmm. Why are you looking at me like that? Never you... You ate my salt lamp and sipped the wax melt up? Yes, it's edible. Why not eat? <laughs> because my vibes. <sighs> oh, I know that sound. Something's bothering you, isn't it, a human? It's just... I can't seem to lose weight no matter how hard I try. You seem healthy enough. I've seen your strenuous workout routine. You shouldn't have anything to worry about. I just don't like the way it makes me look. You know, most species where I'm from are covered in a hard, strong exoskeleton. What? The hard outer shell protects their vital organs, and when I first saw you humans, I immediately noticed your soft exterior with no hard layer to act as a shield. Where are you going with this? The fat around your midsection cushions your organs, protecting them from harm. It's not much, but it's effective enough. It's meant to be there. It has a job. <laughs> Human, what are you playing? Kirby Planet Robobot. Oh, well, what's that about? Basically, a company called Haltman Works is planning on draining Popstar of its natural resources, so Kirby goes out to stop it and saves his world for the upteenth time. Oh. You know, I think we have that planet name in our database. Would you like to see? Yes, heck yeah! Can we visit too? Yeah, the gravity and phenomena around that planet is still unexplained. Somehow a pink puffball is eight inches in the surface, then is around the height of a human six-year-old. Is that a no? What do you think? <laughs> human, I must ask you something! Oh, oh, okay, what's up? Why does your species know about the Mayarzaketh? The... the what the, the now? It this! The game you called Metroid, he's known as Craig, correct? E yep, I'm assuming that's the, uh, the, the how did you say it? Mayarzaketh! It is a very dangerous predator from the planet Kalzik! How dangerous are we talking here? Well, remember that Monster Hunter game you showed me the other day? Yeah? In that one elder dragon beast that could burrow beneath the sand? Denmora? Yes, that one. My Arzaketh 
is like that, but a thousand times larger and extremely aggressive. I need to go change. Human, I am looking back at some of your reports for your planet's newspapers, and it seems to describe these UFOs abducting bovines in some of your farms. Uh, yeah, apparently some years back that was a big conspiracy, along with stuff like weird lights in Texas and the Roswell thing I told you about a while back. Oh, so that explains why some of our drones arrived with those creatures aboard. The, the what? Well, those UFOs are actually our plant's versions of a um, mobile veterinarian. We use these to quickly observe and care livestock on our world. A few decades back, some had their navigation system malfunction and travel off-world. We never got a log until recently. I'm never taking you to Hollywood. Human, why does this Japanese animated television program have multiple- No, 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 no! What is wrong, human? No! You're not telling me that the aliens from Dragon Ball exist! You're not telling me Saiyans are a thing! You're not telling me Frieza is real! You're not telling me the God of Destruction Beerus exists! I was going to say why... <laughs> going to ask how the series got Species 28941 so accurate. <sighs> Which one is that? Where yeah, green can stretch your limbs long distances, subsist only on water, and produce asexually. Start the ship, we're going to Namek, I'm going to gather the Dragon Balls! Everything you listed does exist too. Wait, what was that? Nothing! On to adventure! The man. The myth. The Chad legend. All of this raw stone. Beefy power. And now a convenient little squishy package. That's right, ladies, lads, and gentle thems, the plush campaign continues all summer. We have moved on to the next phase with Kevin, the crowd favorite. Look at this man. He's had many forms, but all of them are perfect. Especially this one. Look at him. He can hold things for you like a pencil. Or your dreams. Or your pencil-like dreams. And just like with every makeshift campaign, if we hit the 200 mark, it gets fully funded, and then if we don't, you get your money back guaranteed. You you lose nothing out of this. And if we hit the 200 mark, I'll draw these two working out because I know what you're like, you filthy freaking degenerates. Slash affectionately. So what are you waiting for? You want a, you want a little guy that's got your back at all times? He'll be there when you need to do your squats. He'll spot you. Just 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 get this man. Get this man right now. Link below. I'll make him spin for you. Look at him. Look at him go. That's a man right there. Are you just going to lay in bed all day? Would you judge a frog resting atop a lily pad? Would you criticize a flower for enjoying the sun? My dad just walked in and asked me, What do you get when you cross a joke with a rhetorical question? And left. Next level dad joke, let's go! Ah oh, yes, the third gender. Lefties. Okay, well wait, if you're like a left-handed non-binary person, does that like make you Jesus? How's it work? Oh boy, I gotta commit to the bit on this one. <clears throat> In fourth grade, I was introduced to the concept of run-on sentences by my teacher, and I immediately raised my hand and pointed out that none of the sentences being used as examples were actually grammatically wrong at all, and were just longer than most people can comfortably write slash read. And she made me sit in the corner, and I feel like that shows a lot of my typing style on this hell site. Run-on sentences are ADHD culture. Ugh. Really don't like using those punctuations, Tumblr user... sex haver. If JG Wentworth doesn't stand for Jared Gerald Wentworth, then what is even the point of life? How could I trust him to give him my money that I need right now? Star Wars has three types of guys. Fump Gizo from the Wumfly system, stab a bad guy man, and Chris. Star Wars Heritage Post, hmm. At the press of a button, Bert will send you his bees. Also, can we point out how freaking dystopic this thing is? This is a button you buy to buy the product faster. Why? Can I be serious for a moment? 
I really can't believe how many people on here, especially leftists, support Marx. The man was incredibly problematic. I mean, do you even remember when he tricked Kirby into summoning Galactic Nova so he could take over Planet Popstar? Or do you just not care? Gotcha. Wizard, oh, I like your goblin detecting sword. That's funny. Goblin here thought they just had a really cool glowing sword. My what now? The moral of Matilda is that if you're autistic enough, you can destroy your enemies with your mind. You have Mento, Illinois. Ah, oh, fuck. I think I'm Nero Di Vermont, too. Leaving this in the tags was a mistake, dire human! You know, you could follow the genuinely funny poster who's going to be gone in six months. Or you could follow me, the mediocre to okay-ish poster who's been on Tumblr for like 11 and a half years and will be here until the flames finally reach and destroy the Dana Center within our precious memories. Or actually, you could just, you could follow us both. Who, who you follow isn't really one or the other type thing. Follow me more for more Tumblr.com tips. You know what you gotta do? You gotta do the like, comment, and subscribe bit. Got ya. Tumblr being all adults nowadays is so funny because my mutuals are either unemployed chain smokers or Ezra, bioengineering PhD candidate at University of North Carolina, Chapel Hill. One of the important lessons to learn about adult life is that the gap between unemployed chain smoker and a bioengineering PhD candidate is actually not that large. In between them, there's a content creator just trying to sell these little squishy pieces of merchandise that you could get in the link below, what? It's called irony poisoning because it makes you sick in the head. Like, yeah, man, sorry for caring about this thing I like too much. It would have been much cooler if I pretended to not give a shit about anything at all, actually. This makes me better than everyone who expresses feelings, which are inherently a sign of weakness, as you already know. Cause of death. Who gives a shit? Cause of death. Any fucking business. Cause of death. Died. I would have ended it there, but there's one even funnier after that. Cause of death. Wouldn't you like to know, Weather Boy? You know what I haven't done in a while? That I tried to do, and it kind of just stopped for a second? Amazon reviews. We need some fitting colors here for that, aren't we? Yeah, now what's a good color scheme for a big old company that sells a lot of things and makes a lot of money? <coughs> yeah, there we go. My transformation is complete. It is day 87, and the horses have accepted me as one of their own. I have grown to understand and respect their gentle ways. I question everything I once knew and fear I am no longer capable of following through my primary objective. I know that those who sent me will not relent. They will send others in my place. But we will be ready. The perfect driving instructor. She hangs above my mirror and judges me while I drive. I live in fear of failing to use a turn signal, otherwise she might declare vengeance upon me. She's absolutely adorable, and I highly recommend, especially for any new drivers. That'd be so funny if, like, you show it to a friend, and they're like, Oh, that's so cute. What does she actually look like? And you get flashbanged with this. Whoa, 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 whoa! Hoyleverse rerunner banner, I know you can. Mama warned me about women like you. I was hoping she was right. It drove me crazy. I'd forgotten the pain of listening to bad recorder playing, but this brought it all back. There's nothing wrong with the product. It's solid and functional. I'm keen to get the offspring interested in music and listening to the torturous sounds of a badly played recorder is the price I have to pay. I am suffering as many parents have suffered before me. I can only hope he goes on to fame and fortune and doesn't turn into an asshat and puts me in a good nursing home. Behold, the harbinger of so many badly played hot cross buns. <laughs> an excellent cautionary reminder for those studying genetics. I bought this gift for my daughter who is studying genetics at university. I want her to remember just what kind of power she's dealing with. She absolutely loves it and displays it prominently in her dorm. Quality materials, and just awesome to behold. 
It will be the conversation piece that keeps on giving. Now, now, why are we afraid of this? I, for one, would welcome the idea of the hork. I love it. I'd buy ten more. Some. Wait for it, 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 wait for it. Don't do anything, don't do anything, don't do anything. Wait for it. <laughs> a very happy floof. Hey, wait a minute. This is the Pokemon website. What is this? Oh, well. Big floof is very floof. I named it Marshmallow to represent the level of floof within this floofy floof. Highly recommend this for extra floof. I'm telling you, this Mareep dumped all of its stats and its floof attributes. Marshmallow is the GOAT. Not as in the GOAT, but as in the GOAT, because Mareep is, is, is actually a sheep. Very floof. Get yourself some happy floof. It's not just for ladies. Oh, here we go. My wife bought this for our pregnancy announcement, and it was too big. I saw my opportunity and knew what I had to do. This dress does it all. You want to feel pretty? Check. Majestic? Sure. Pregnant? Of course. Hot? It's lit fam. I'd rate this a perfect 5 out of 5. I'm not sure how it works for the ladies, but it made me feel like a queen. I am not at all worried about keeping my coin that duplicates into two coins every hour in an enclosed space. What is nuclear fission? Oh, no. Alright, stop making jokes. Comedy peaked with Phineas and Ferb. And stop making songs. Music also peaked with Phineas and Ferb. Aren't Phineas and Ferb a little young to be the peak of both the music and comedic industries? Yes. Yes, they are. And yet here we are. Welcome back to Game Changer, the only game show where the game changes every show. Players, you will notice that we're standing in a prison and that some of you have been designated as guards, while the rest of you are prisoners. Over the next few months, you- Me playing my next D&D character like- Do I- do I know him? No. I've committed a lot of crimes, are we sure? Anyone. Hey. Ask about a special interest of mine. Me. Becomes an unskippable cutscene. All good, I get to explain this to you. You will regret this. In the sky. Straight stork in it. And by it, well, <laughs> let's just say. The bed. Stroking the sword while lamenting the social realities. Engraved by Shen Jianzhou, Ming Dynasty. Who up stroking their sword while lamenting the social realities? Can Grace's new six-day work week be a model for others? Hey, what if I actually fucking shot you? My partner doesn't use pet names nearly as much as I do. Which is very funny, because I will crack my gay little knuckles and say some shit like, Good morning, my sun and moon, my loveliest boy, my baby, my sweetheart, my darling dearest. And he will reply, Hello, Adrian. Wait, babe, before we move on, I need to check every barrel in this room to check for hidden items. See, it's important. It's important, you never know. Broke. Yeah, well, Snickers have a dick vein. Woke. Dicks have a Snicker vein. <laughs> Me. If I become the evil overlord, I will never harm my minions. Five years later, highly throwable imp. <laughs> Me. Hmm. The imp wants to be thrown, throw the imp. Consider, it's enrichment for them. You ever thrown a little kid repeatedly onto a couch or a bed or a trampoline and become cooler than God to them? No, it's fine, they like being thrown! It's perfectly reasonable to toss around some of your minions, but after a certain percentage of your own minions destroyed, it's fiscally irresponsible. Hey, just checking in with the Chuckable Imp Union. How's negotiations going? It's really up in the air right now. Uh... You're not like the other girls, the boy said. Oh, actually, most of us are like this, the girl said comfortably as she shifted back to her true dragon form and ate him. The end. Smile. Oh, hello! If you're seeing this, oh boy, does the economy love me. And by that, I mean it wants to hurt me and everything I love and know. So I've been on YouTube for a very, very long time, and I've tried to do multiple things across all platforms. You've seen me do it, and seen me struggle, and be mad, and miserable, and wish I never did this in the first place. After some looking into it, understanding how it works, I'm still kind of trying to figure it out, but I decided it was time to turn on 
memberships. And it's only one. 99 cents a month. I'm not doing anything more expensive than that because holy crap, if I'm suffering the economy, then I'm sure it's not just me. I also wanted to make it seem like I was not gonna like do crazy things like put like videos behind paywalls or anything like that. It's just very simple. You get the badge that evolves over the year. You get emotes to use in live chats. One thing I might have to like set up though uh, is going forward with the mega binges. Uh, we will make it members only chat. Not just to do that, but just to keep, you know, certain commentary out of the way. I, I think it bit me in the butt recently. But that's the only bigger thing. Apart from that, the only difference between you being a holy bingus and a regular bingus is the holy bingus gets the, the, the shiny badges and, and the emotes. I don't know, like maybe a proud dad hug or a mom hug for me or her, whichever you prefer. That said, thank you all so much. This is the only big advertising video I'm ever gonna do on this at this point. If you see the button and you wanna support me in the future, I'll greatly appreciate it. And it would be kind of nuts, cause like if, <laughs> like if winning the lottery, if like all of you hit like the membership button, I could just, I, I could just retire and just do this all the time. But that would just be crazy. <laughs> How do you write such realistic dialogue? I talk to myself. I talk to myself and I pretend I'm the one saying the line. Like sanity is slowly slipping from between my fingers with every measly word they type out. That is how! Yeah, it was me. I made the cool ass sword. Sword is a cool ass word. <sighs> I'm only here for a very short time. So please don't waste my time. I know this is supposed to be deep, but my brain is going like, me at a party. <laughs> Leaving house, good for depression, bad for anxiety. Staying at house, good for anxiety, bad for depression. Standing directly in the doorway to achieve peak mental health. Devouring it, and by it, let's just say. Honey crush apple. I was talking about goosebumps with a friend tonight, and I found the greatest tagline for any work of horror ever. Like, I am obsessed with how quickly this gets to the point. Welcome to Dead House. It will just kill you. Every romance book promoted on TikTok is just full to the brim with horrible, steamy taglines that are just like, Eyes on me, little beast. I'm here to make you damp. Me when I have to give my dog a bath. And if AI becomes sentient, who cares? What, are you scared? You can just do this. Hate? Let me tell you how much I've come to hate- <laughs> Alright, everybody shut up! Look how cool Shadow is. I'd let him piss on my wife. What? You had to be there. Don't date people who make you feel like you have to hide your stuffed animals. This is, without exaggeration, probably the best dating advice I've ever seen. Nemo Bear was here before you, and he'll be here after you're gone, my dude. Hey man, you wanna check out my new novel? It has a lot of references to recent internet lingo. Also, it's physically hurtful to read. Immersive gaming. Five nights of phrase. Obsessed with the implications of this. Ah, oh, the smell of Home Depot is cathartic. Fairies live in the lights and chandelier section. Gnomes live in the outdoor gardening department. Stop romanticizing Home Depot. Pixies live in the pay tile, fuck you! When I'm bored at work, I sometimes Google extinct frogs and use the tape measure to conceptualize how big those would have been on my desk and just nod to myself going, Damn. That was a big frog. Yeah, I think you should be allowed to cite scholars who are bad people, but only if you put the word oof or yikes after their name. Like Parker? Ooh, yikes. Ah, 1989. Or Abink? Big oof. 2007. Freud. Derogatory. 1923. If you see me accidentally blocked to the wrong account, no you did not. God, I wish I could move diagonally. What the hell, man? All the username. Oh. With the power of ADHD, you can do two halves of a different drawers and then sit down again instead of finishing either. This may be mistaken for half-assing, but you could be wrong. I am whole-assing, but I've distributed my ass across multiple tasks and didn't finish anything. But multiple chores are more done than they were before. Take it or leave it. You know, they're out of line, but they write. The G in LGBT is short for guy who... 
uh, how shall I put this? Prefers the company of men. The L in LGBT is short for a lady who, um, how, how should I put this? Prefers the company of women. The B in LGBT is short for bonus 10% damage against everyone. The T stands for Thefts Against Community Guidelines. There's something stupid going on inside my head. It's called the thought. God, clear skin is so attractive. I chop a toe off for clear skin forever. I swear to fucking God, writing a post on this website is like talking to a fucking genie. Better be specific as shit or some smart ass is gonna ruin your life. Oh my God, this is a passion Yay. Fixed bug where some geometry would allow the player to get too close and see inside the walls. If any players claim they saw enslaved gnomes inside these walls building our levels, they are lying! Fixed Tefani, talking to nobody when Floofty isn't around. In short, broken tooth time trial flare is visible if quest active. Moths Supreme tornadoes no longer turn black when Moths Supreme is sauced. Okay. Improved Lalive and Takeda Masala getting stuck carrying objects. What are these names? Oh god, it's Triffany, not Tiffany. Oh my god, what is happening? Resolved a hypersonic automatic blink teleport attacks issue that never happened in a live build, but it's kind of fun to talk about. And honestly, l less hype than I'm making it out to sound anyway. I'm sorry. Fixed misspelling of omelets. It is now spelled Fancy Egg Taco. Thanks, I hate it. Made adjustments to the about page credits to showcase all of the wonderful people that have contributed to Slime Rancher, even though it still means leaving out people that didn't work on it directly but made it all possible. Oh, Elizabeth, I love you so much. A smile for me is a little scary now, but there was a beta glitch where Kamal could delete any item you gave him, resulting in the truly upsetting Kamal ate my hand bug report. Damn it, Kamal. Fix that oppressors could spawn in tutorial. <laughs> Rip green beards. Fixed an issue. We, we, we fixed an issue. Thank you, Melty Blood Type Lumina. Very cool. Fixed Medusa's head being able to duplicate Byers White. I don't remember that in the Greek mythos. Where was that? Is that was that the one with John Travolta in it? Okay, it's Greek. Digital's dis. Digital's? <laughs> Digital displays on the ranch now have a really cool LED screen effect. What secret hit it in the pixels? What are you talking about? There's definitely not a ghost. Hello, miners. Sorry, it works now. Our bad. Ew. With love, the ghost ship crew. Fix that the game crashed most of the time you tried to join a game. <laughs> game crash is trying to like fucking start up a game. You can no longer die from sadness. <gasps> What's fucking go? Human, about this game you've been playing, the, the, the one with the ink. Oh, Splatoon? What, did you want to play it? Well, I noticed some images and I must ask, how did you kind of know about the Cambriosians? The, the, the what? Cambriosians. They're a species who thrive on a planet much like Earth. However, instead of evolving more mammalian, they adopt traits much like the creatures in your game. In fact, the lore behind them seems to line up with how they developed, albeit without the consequences of a prior sapient race behind it, among a few things. Oh, that's that. So inklings and octolings exist. In a way. In fact, your player avatar resembles what they may be considered the equivalent of a janitor on Earth. Well, I thought the armor looked cool. Quick question, human. Zap. Those cartoons you showed me from those Disney guys. Are you going to tell me that Mickey Mouse is an alien species? Yes, but that's not the point. Anyway, what exactly is the difference between Goofy and Pluto? <sighs> oh, boy. Human, what can you tell me about storm chasers? Oh, simple. Storm chasers are people who chase down dangerous storms like tornadoes and hurricanes, either for research purposes or for thrill-seeking. Why do you ask? 
mainly because of this new movie that is coming out soon called Twisters. I heard it was a sequel to a movie called Twister that was released about 30 years ago. Uh, yeah, I almost forgot about that movie. Highly recommend watching the first film before watching that. Wanna watch it with me now? Sure thing. After the movie, Hard to believe that all it took for Bill and Joe to get back together was a near-death experience to several tornadoes over the course of two days. <laughs> and to think Joe was about to sign the divorce papers right as the monster hit the drive-in that they stopped at. Human, about this Star Wars franchise? Uh, let me guess, they're all real. No, actually. I was going to point out that a lot of the alien species designs are just not really all that realistic. Wait, what, what really? Yeah, it's actually a pretty unscientific portrayal of what extraterrestrial life looks like. Oh, wow. Oh, finally some normality. Except the Gungans, those guys are real. Why? Out of all the millions of Star Wars alien species, did the Gungans have to be real? I should probably tell them they don't sound like that though. Should I? Nah, let them suffer. What are you doing? Watching To Your Eternity. What is the show about? How a tiny orb slowly becomes human and immortality is literally the worst thing that is given to people. Huh? Watch it, you'll understand soon. Hours later. <laughs> what is everyone dying the show? To make everyone stop wishing for immortality. And to make everyone catch the feels. I need to call Lady Lucretia. She must be devastated. Why do you watch the kids show? Is it like the flying men show with the punchy kicky men? Uh, no, no, this is not like Dragon Ball Blue, he's different. Why do they sound incomprehensible? Well, that's down under, otherwise known as Australian. Why did I choose you, human? Because I was the only candidate who didn't try and romance you. But you have. And I thought again. Human, I have a question. Shoot. I've noticed your planet has a distinct lack of currently existing large animals. Oh, right. Wait, the only place that still has an abundance of large animals is Africa. Hold on, didn't your species originate there? So, yeah, this might seem a bit shocking, but we kind of killed most of the megafauna outside of Africa. I'm sorry, what? And we may have single-handedly caused our sixth largest mass extinction in our planet's history. You're kidding, right? We were hungry. I feel like I should report you to your local authority. Human, I've heard talk about these Tumblr sexy men, and I was wondering what that meant. There's been many polls about them throughout the years as well. <coughs> well, well, you see, people find certain fictional characters very attractive, but others are very confused by that, so every year or so, people, people hold polls to find out which is the hottest. It's a mess all around. That sounds... Strange. Can you tell me a few choices featured in the polls? <laughs> sure. A few minutes later, rumor. My lord, why are they all attracted to a robot ball in a snazzy triangle? I was wondering the same thing. I, I, I don't understand. You have a, a person who causes deforestation. You have a, a talking cat. A man with a dice on his head. Well, this Waluigi one I can understand, but... Good God, is that just a skeleton? You're not immune to being the bully, by the way. You're not immune to being in the wrong. But I'm... There is no identity or state of being that makes you immune to hurting someone. You can be convinced that you are in the right for doing so. You can be convinced that you're defending someone by doing so. You have always got to examine if you're taking pleasure in hurting someone or if you're actually doing something good. So stop being a frickin' dingus. Their gender? Questionable. Their morals? Even more so. Alright, Chad, name the character. Shipping and blubberfication are not inherently at odds with understanding a story's deep themes. And some people can't grasp the themes of a story because they never learned how to engage with stories outside of the lens of shipping and blubberfication are two statements that can coexist. As crazy as it is to say, Sometimes you do roll into a super deep complex story that is usually meant for a critical thinking audience at the age of 12. You know, a picture can say a thousand words, and here, <laughs> they're all slurs. No, please, my 52 HP! My level one paladin, after the pixies who turned her into an octopus, made her human again. Put him back. 
Behold, the distribution of Waffle Houses in the U.S. You mean to tell me the West Coast ain't got a Waffle House? We don't. We got, like, Denny's? Which is only, like, a fraction as surreal as I've been led to believe Waffle House is. Being kissed in your sleep and being pulled closer within cuddles is such a top-tier form of affection. Oh my god, I have a mighty need. I spent countless hours turning aluminum welding wire into a chainmail blanket. Why? Well, I like having weight on me when I sleep, and I like to be cool. The heat dissipating properties and weight of aluminum are perfect for this. Press. Bro, 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 bro's getting a good night's sleep. Okay, show I'll be 18 in September and I'm petrified. Stop. You're 17 and four-fifths right now. You're not aging up a full year. You're just going to be a few months older than you are right now. Time moves on. The numbers keep going up. The numbers fucking meaningless. Can your mainly ship post box stop changing my worldview, please? No. An important announcement. I've discovered that rose finches exist. It physically pains me that I cannot be her. I've been on Tumblr for almost 13 years, and I refuse to know what Homestuck is about. Oh, it's very simple. It's it's about a little dude that's got, like, no arms, and he runs really fast. He's got, like, his best friend who is, like, a wrestling dude that hates him. You know, that, that's, that's Homestuck, right? We, yes. Hi, we are a job website. We have plenty of diverse jobs for you. So, do you want to do manual labor? or get yelled at on the phone. Those are the two options. Isn't our economy so ripe with opportunity? Do you ever lie awake wondering how the heck Gimli knows what a nervous system is? Well, clearly dwarves have medical knowledge far more advanced than that of the other races. His Majesty, Dr. Gimli, son of Glon, neurosurgeon MD. Gimli trying to explain his studies to Legolas, the flat earther. Scroll down. Remember that Middle Earth is canonically flat for elves and round for everyone else? Scroll back up and smash that reblock button! So the Kevin campaign is coming to a close soon, and I don't know if we're gonna reach it, but regardless, I'll still be donating whatever earnings I would have made from that uh, to St. Jude's. So if you feel like you just want to add more to the pile, feel free. However, a time break has opened, and she has returned. Oh my god, it's the Siana 2.0 plushie back at it again. These two campaigns kind of overlapped in their launch dates because it's just the way the event went. Oh, I'm sorry. So yeah, Makeship is doing a revival campaign of the popular plushies that were on their website. And look who made the list! Look at her! And you might be wondering, well, what makes her different from the original editions? Well, I'll tell you that, little Tim Tim. She's got a second edition symbol right on her tuchus. Oh no, that means I'm gonna have to draw it if we hit the 200 mark. Oh god, the consequences of my own actions. Or worse, twin Sianas. Also, holographic stickers are included. I kind of forgot that part originally. But yeah, this is really cool because anyone who missed out on the campaign last time, you got a chance to do it again. And if you like it and you want to squish it, and you'll put her in a box or on a shelf, or maybe even on the moon if you got one of those. You can click on the little icon at the end of the video, or if you want to go get it right now, you can go get it in the link in the pinned comment. Anyway, I'm done advertising. It's, it, this this was a long one. I'm sorry. We'll, we'll make the Tumblr bits extra long, this one. Okay. Fan fiction writers be like, Notes. Had a breakdown. Started writing it. Bon appetit. When I get into indie game development, release date, Original intended release date, lack of news, subsequent intended release dates, accusations of vaporware, 10 year anniversary of the original release date, rumored death of the programmers, second trailer and new release date, <laughs> aftermath of the Miss new release date, <laughs> controversy over the nippers. I have no idea what this game is and I'm afraid to find out. Click here for tinnitus symptoms. Oh, no, no, thank you, anthropomorphic cat in a spiky jacket. I don't really want those. Also, why did he make you sound like the Khajiit from uh, Oblivion? Why? Oh, my God. <laughs> this next one. They gave me pronunciation instructions. No. Oh, do I be a dingus and ignore this? Fuck it, we ball. People who haven't seen Common Rider. Ooh! 
explain these images? That's clearly the expression the person who submitted this is having right now after me ignoring the rules. <laughs> My name's Practice. Mal Practice. Nice to meet you, Dr. Practice. Could you please tell me what's wrong with my son? He needs surgery on all of his bones. Very well, here is my credit card. I accept. No payment. I do this because I love it. Obsessed with Torchex, Hargold, Soul Silver, Pokedex entry. Inside its body is a place where it keeps a small flame. Hug it. It will be as warm as a hot water bottle. This lives in my head rent free. And that's why Heart Gold and Soul Silver are the best ones. I don't, I'm sorry, I don't make the rules. Witness a man who just knocked a pill bottle to the floor in a fit of peak. <laughs> he looks so angry. <laughs> My boyfriend doesn't believe that his cat bullies mine. I've been attacked. I saw this little man at Epcot today. Oh my God, look. Look at those, look at those prominent little springers. Those little tufts, oh my goodness, that's a certified boing. When October hits, don't ask me if I want to do spooky stuff with you. Just just come get me. Yeah, imagine if he just showed up on Monday like this. Yo, is this that monster fucker from Baldur's Gate 3? Hello, can you please tell me a fact about Mars Wikipedia the official? It's red. It's, it's real red. <laughs> Bat Bat coming up with game theory is like, Would he fucking say that? Let's investigate. Update, I investigated a little too hard. This one shot is now 1.3k words long. I'm, uh, my bad. I'm the world's most prominent garlic lover. You know, I'm learning new things about myself every day on this beautiful earth. Virgin Airlines. <laughs> Not after I'm done with them. Uh, the, the wrong block. I'd be worried if it was a correct Skyrim quote. Modders, you have a job. To celebrate Pride Month, I'll be intentionally misinterpreting heterosexual relationships in fiction as platonic friendships. Look at these two besties. Such a power move. Chapter 15. Well, well, well. If it isn't the consequences of my own actions. Summary. Read the title. They need to make a pocket dimension you can hide in where time doesn't pass and everything is soft. I need it, right? No! <clears throat> I think a wizard can be a princess sometimes. I mean, a tower is a tower. By God, they're right. No, no, Princess Zelda does not have girl power. Princess Zelda has girl wisdom. Ganon has girl power. Me, it's not illegal. Cop staring at my trunk filled with creamy peanut butter. It's just so much. But it's not illegal. No. No, it's not. You know, unless you stole it. How, why, how, how would you get that much peanut butter in the first place? Guys, you ever hear a drum beat that changes your life? I can't tell if this is a music post or a Doctor Who joke. <sighs> you know, let, let's cater the first one. I'll give you guys mine. Did you ever listen to It's Going Down Now in the Persona 3 soundtrack? If you haven't, it, let, let, let me give you just a little five second example. Fire shit. Outfits that could 100% protect vampires from the sun. Suit of armor. Mascot costumes. Green screen suits. Fursuit. Just putting that out there. Ooh woo. Behold the grinning goop. Look at that award winning smile right there. New rule. Never trust how you feel about yourself past 9 p.m. I genuinely think this image has saved lives. Man, the rule used to be before 2 a.m., but this this might actually be much more helpful. Not to be corny, but sometimes I think my purpose on this earth is to love people, make them laugh, be kind, and share joy. That feels like enough to me sometimes. I'm here to maim and kill, but your thing sounds nice, too. Lyos Heaven is Marseille Hell, and it's a very efficient system. Marseille is in a survival horror story. Chilchuck is in the office. Senshi's in Stardew Valley, and Lyles is in... <laughs> well, he's in Dungeon Meshi. What's Fallon in? The dragon. Speaking of Dungeon Meshi, did you guys know I was in Grimjack's video about it as Lyles? This rule of glue, you should watch it. They want you to make fried rice. Wh who's they? The walk left. Well, where'd it 
go. What you need to understand about recommending a show to me is that no matter how much we both know I'll like it, I can't watch it until the neurodivergence department in my brain approves it. I don't know when that will be, and I don't have any more control over it than you do. I'm sorry. Pie chart, you want to give me toilet? Hey, man. Do you take out the garbage like Mom asked? Do you take out the garbage like Mom asked you, like an hour ago? The bag's already tied up. You literally just need to grab it and walk 15 feet. That's it. Yeah, go take out the trash, come back, and watch some quality shit posting. Like Flex Air 5. Brad Baggett with Kel Butter. I think you might need to be put down like a dog. Slash romantic. It's 3 a.m. Do you know where your twink is? Hey, get down from there, you fucker! Are you tough a boy likes you, Pocket Show? You just gotta ask him, man. Boys are stupid as shit. I'm not even kidding. Aren't you one, though? I'm giving you the inside scoop. Your mama's so crumb that strong ants took her away forever! Just here to say I started using this joke on middle schoolers and it completely disarms them in every situation. Thanks so much. Poor old Granny Scorpion shoes. No one ever saw her death coming. It was pneumonia. Yes, her pet scorpion pneumonia who lived in her shoe. Tragic. You shot her point blank. <laughs> the gods chose him. The gods champion. No, that's God's little wind-up toy. The gods chew toy. The gods favorite Barbie doll. Dude, my pet aunt just called. He's in the hospital. Yeah, he broke his fucking arm, man. He was just trying to lift some kid's mom. Oh! I'm so sleepy. Won't you use exclamation tuck to tuck me into bed? Exclamation cursed oak. Did everyone else have like terrible dreams about a gnarled, twisted forest with one tree more terrible and hateful than all the rest? No? Well, okay. Meanwhile, in the dimension where birds explode when startled, a man practicing for the how long can you go without moving while being covered in bird seed contest at a local park is currently fearing for his life. <laughs> oh, you're getting so sleepy. So tired. Here's some blankets and a little Sienna plush that you can get right now at Mixer.com. Take a little delightful nap for me, okay? Oh my gosh, a blankie is a safe place to sleep on. Fool! 2x damage bonus! Ah. Guy just walked in with a shirt that said, I don't question my wife's choices because I'm one of them. And frankly, I'm obsessed! Just saw a post that was very spoiler, but I want to reblog it, but it was very spoiler, but I want to reblog it, but it was very spoiler, but I want to reblog it, but it was very spoiler, but. Hi, Joe, what's the biggest animal you could take in a fight? Dragon. What if it starts flying away? I'm sure I'll figure it out. It's me we're talking about here, guys. I saw these two right next to each other, and I couldn't help myself. Hey, you guys draw guns. It's horrible. Do it scared. Do it vaguely uncomfortable. Do it mysteriously. Damn. This user has drunk from the eternal river Leth, which flows through Hades and brings total oblivion, eradicating all memory and thought. Out of taste. Out of what taste? I baked him another cheesecake, why doesn't he care? Oh, I how hard I try, I just gave a fuck. I, a rock collector, had to go to the ER yesterday because of a gallstone attack. Here's how my father messaged me. It seems like you need to be more particular about the types of rocks you collect. Thanks, Dad. Ugh, nobody's putting gargoyles on buildings anymore. It can't be that much more expensive to slap a gargoyle up there. We used to be a proper country. Yeah, I saw some great pigeons the other day. These are normal pigeons. Yes, but they're great. Look at them. <laughs> My life goal is to be some dark-haired guy's boy toy girlfriend. And he plays bass. Do you have any advice for a 10-year-old? Get off the internet. Eat as much dirt as you can before it becomes socially unacceptable. I'll see you 10. What the hell are you doing here? Jokes that'll literally never not be funny to me. Saying, speedrun strats every time you fuck up. Saying, first try, when you've tried the thing like 15 times, minimum. Saying skill issue when something is 100% outside of anyone's control. <laughs> that one's good, I like that. Kind of obsessed with my dad's friend who apparently goes back to being a Buddhist whenever he gets a divorce. 
gets divorced. All right, that's it. No more worldly desires. Sees another beautiful woman. Well, unless. I love that it's apparently happened enough that it's a cycle. Almost like. It's not enough to hate this character. I need him punished by the narrative. Gender is just a scam created by clothing companies in order to sell more clothes. Why do you think there's a clothing company just called Guess? Tumblr's dead. It's so fucking dead. Yeah, until it's time to steal text posts, gifts, and fan art, and then suddenly they know where to go. Just saying. You gotta stop looting off this dead horse apparently you keep beating. There are no real men anymore. Men nowadays are all too feminine. They even look and act like women. <gasps> where are all these feminine men? Where? Can you pinpoint them on a map for me, please? Can, can you direct me to them? I'm begging you, please. Please, P please, 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 please. Oh my god, you found out somebody has a physically impossible fetish? Should we, like, tell everyone? Should we write a call-out post? Should we... Should we invite Segment Fried? And that's why it's called a fantasy kink. Hey, no homo, but I'm sitting on the broken swing set out in the back. Perfect, quiet, 2 a.m. blackness and picturing the softness of your voice and the darkness of your eyes with such perfect and terrible clarity that it feels like I'm choking on my own heartbeat. Now I'm eating croutons straight out of the bag. Still no homo? I'm gonna level with you, friend. I'm eating these croutons gay style. Wait, hold on. I'm thinking. <laughs> I said a game about the tragedy of immortality, and y'all said, hold my beer. The DM. Me. Upon hearing only one player is playing someone completely mortal. I drew the corner, son, again, I'm sorry. How do I, how do I capture your fiery glory? It's impossible, I'm too glorious, but I applaud your efforts, slash Jen. I'm what is known as an eepy little guy. Sometimes sleepy, sometimes both. Worrying is like worshiping the problem. And brother, I'm on my knees. Brother, you should put me in front of the firing squad. I have no words for how I failed you. Me, when I recommend something to someone and they end up not liking it, oh my God, it's the worst feeling. Born to be a mediocre gamer, forced to participate in society. His ass does not know what to order. Hey, get the wet food. It's real good here. Opening a Wizard Burger King to rival Wizard McDonald's. Anyone want the pain death laser kill 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 explode burger whatever? Yeah, can I get a number infinity and a small dash shake with fries? I'd rather go to Wizard Five Guys. Sure, it takes a little bit longer, but there's five fucking wizards. Lost my keys in the damn gelatinous cube again. You know, gelatinous cubes can't dissolve skin. Reach in it with your bare hands. Trust me, Google AI said so. Okay, I, I will try. I would like to lodge a complaint with Mr. Google. I'm kind of surprised how good the NBC Hannibal show is. Mentally, I filed it away in the Super Hula cabinet, but it's closer to tone to House MD. It is like pure Baroque camp. Played entirely straight. NBC Hannibal is like if Hideo Kojima wrote a police procedural about vampires. The linchpin of this entire show is Lawrence Fishburne's performance as Jack Crawford. He is the Kim Kitsuragi. His job in the narrative is to go, okay, so you're saying that Hannibal Lecter is pretending to be several different serial killers at once for fun. And part of his plan was to reprogram your brain by intentionally giving you bacterial anesthetophilitis. Well, if that is true, what is the next logical step here? Shit, maybe I need to give this show a try. Growing up, I always wanted to be poorly understood by science. Funnier as a system. Fibromyalgia. Autism. And you can easily achieve this by becoming transgender. Glad people got the subtext on this one. What if... What if... What if you did all four? What would science do then? They're cute as a couple, but the, the follower gap between them is a little uncomfortable. Careful. 
lest you find yourself struck by a dodgeball while Apollo snickers. Uh, I wish $28 was $20 again. It's literally $5, if you're fucking lucky. You guys know how hard it is to do the I'm not gay, but $20 is $20 joke in this economy? BT Dubs, if I ever tag something as neurodivergent what is not related to the post, I want you to think if a neurotypical post would say that, and then agree with me. Brutal honesty, I don't think there's a single neurotypical person on Tumblr. Oh, Tumblr's so boring with all you nerds and dash con. Y'all better come back with some amazing tales. Date of origin, 11th of July, 2014. Freaking insane. That was 10 years ago. Meanwhile, at DashCon... Jabba says you can have an extra hour in the ball pit. What do you mean killing isn't an act of devotion? They call it committing murder because it's a commitment. It's a more serious commitment than marriage. And I think it has a lot more repercussions, but I'm no I'm no specialist. All right, uh, th this, this is the first time a video was actually submitted in the LNT channel. Uh, so I'm just going to let it play out for you guys to enjoy. Shit I've ever seen. Did you know you should never brush your teeth with your left hand? It's true. A toothbrush is much more effective. <sighs> Jeff. You know what? I actually like when people point out the very obvious themes and metaphors of a story like it's the craziest find ever. Not only are they engaging with the story in a passionate way, they actually manage to understand what it is about. God knows that's not a given for this forsaken website. New movie idea. A parody of National Treasure where the protagonist has to steal the Declaration of Independence because you need to have a receipt to get a refund. And they're trying to replace the government because it's broken. Actually, that would be an interesting concept. You let your cat sing your band? Brother, I would let my cat shoot a gun if you wanted to. I'm about to a wee sports resort to violence. I'm about to have a wee fit. So committed to the bit, they might as well go buy a ring. F fitted adventure, okay. Behold, sign language pasta. Hey, where's the braille pasta? That's called quinoa. Ah! Emojis are great, but emoticons have such personalities. Like this fella. He be strutting his way through everything. Ain't nothing stopping this mad lad. He is coming. You could say he's, uh... Well, before you comment, yes, there is a dragon loose in the kitchen. And before you blame me, no, I do not know how it got there. If you have achieved something, please remember to observe a mandatory period of basking in the warm glow of your achievement. Like a lizard on a stone. Lest you teach your brain that effort is futile, actually, because it didn't get to enjoy its happy chemicals. So naturally, Nothing good ever comes out of trying, and now avoiding punishment is not a reward. I recommend, like, 5% of basking time in relation to whatever time you invested into achieving the thing minimum. And if you can't make your own bask, friend brought is fine. Tell your friends. Huh. I think I needed to hear that. They should invent a reward for enduring suffering. I thought that's what money was. Thanks, late-stage capitalism. Notes. Yeah, he's dead. <laughs> Guys, I'm sorry. I love being part of plays. The other day I was backstage and I heard someone yell, How am I supposed to focus on my lines when the Phantom of the Opera is doing the YMCA dance in the tech booth? One of the Phantom's lesser-known haunting tactics. Then he comes out yelling, Hit the gritty for me, my darling. Mm-mm-mm. Man in a hurry must really hate slow burn fix. Is he stupid? Is one of the funniest things to add at the end of a sentence. It's right up there with many such cases and because of woke. Hey, um, this is not pro-disabled. This is anti-homeless architecture disguised as disabled accommodation. Do not be fooled. Yeah, not, not to be that guy, but <laughs> wheelchair users 
wheelchair users, wheelchair users are not starved for places to sit down. Stop liking my posts, they aren't that good. <laughs> Stop liking my posts, they aren't that good, Unyu. Uh, is there anything more nauseating than expensive heterosexual wedding culture? My dream wedding. Outside, illegal fireworks, shoes are optional, mostly potluck, someone's dressed as a wizard, I get to insult my relatives, and hopefully some live music. It, is your dream wedding just, just, just Bilbo Baggins 111th birthday party? Everyone! wants to be the star of an event like Bilbo Baggins' 1100th birthday party once in their life. Whoa, uh oh uh-oh, sick alert. The beast is weakened, the beast is weakened. The beast is weakened. The beast is weakened? Heartbreaking. This character understood their fate and decided they deserved it. Flawed. This character saw the warning signs a mile away and walked towards the chasm anyway. Holy fucking shit, you did this to yourself. It was gonna happen anyways. You just laid your head on your shoulder of your doom. You sat quietly next to the door like a dog and you expected it. You expected it a little too much. <sighs> Alpha note from FF14 for all three. Someone put Mothman in their window and now there's a crowd of people outside the dorm staring up at him and chanting, Mothman. I love college. The angle of this photo implies that LP is part of the aforementioned crowd. Who do you think started the Mothman chant? My, my um, lawyer has advised to uh, start posting Yuri on this blog. Um, my lawyer also advised me to start saying Nya. I think I'll ignore that one. I'm with your lawyer on that one, honestly. Well, maybe you should die. You would like that, wouldn't you? You little Yuri lover Nya. You know, the most important reason to have a persona is that all your friends can send you pictures of the animal and say, You. Hey... <laughs> What if instead of being under the impression that Darth Vader, oh no, killed his father, no. Someone told Luke that Vader killed his mother, and then Luke hit him with that accusation in the middle of their confrontation, and Vader just started crying. That's so fucked up, but also, why? Why didn't he even say that in the first place? Oh, poor Anakin would shut down immediately. Funniest thing about FNAF 2 is probably Mangle. Okay, so imagine going to a pizza restaurant, and you see this thing, and the employees are like, Yeah, that's bungle fungle mungle tungle. We let the toddlers rip it apart for fun. Nobody seems a problem with it. I gotta say, majority of the FNAF VHSs out there, the scariest ones usually involve this fucker right here. And they have every right to be angry. In marriage, whoever has the cooler last name gets to continue their legacy. Reject tradition. And then the marriage runs into the hardest decision of their lives. Both the names are really cool. Ah, uh, yes, my favorite character from Lord of the... It's... 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 It's, 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 it's like... It's like a less... Like a loss. It's like a loss. I hate everything, but especially this post. Oh my god, we're almost at the halfway point for the Sienna campaign. Cast a 200 and I will draw a very, very cute Sienna with the 200 on her jeans. I know you want that, you DJs. I'm finally complete. I've known almost my whole life that I was actually a lobster. A lobster born into the wrong body. A human body. A human woman body. I endured ridicule as a child. The other children played soccer and I was busy scavenging in puddles for mussels. I've been trespassed from several beaches for my erratic and disturbing behavior, when all I was doing was trying to forge for scraps along the shore. Children only got pinched if they got too close. That isn't my fault. It's my natural lobster defense mechanism. I would sue the cops who had me committed, but alas, lobsters cannot file lawsuits. In 2024? Finding these lobster paws was the beginning of a turning point for me. 
I was drawn to them, knowing they were made specifically for me. So lifelike, so natural, they just feel right. I've already tattooed my entire body the same beautiful shade of red to help me blend in and assimilate with the rest of the lobster pack at the bottom of the ocean. If any of you see me swimming out to sea, don't stop me. This is what I want. This is who I am. Buy these lobster bars and join me. I don't know why I gave them the Meat Cam Markiplier voice, but it just felt oh so right. Gibby! I love this tapestry. Amazing is all I can say. 10 out of 10. Probably the best purchase I've made on Amazon so far. Praise Gibby! Hard. Ruined my life. Five stars. My life has become significantly worse after ordering this plush. As of now, it stands across my room, looking into my eyes. Every time I see its drooping face and gleaming green eyes, I am reminded that I will never be alone again. I see it moving in the corner of my eyes, and sometimes I look away and look back, and it changes position. Its face deforms gradually every day, and I fear for my family's safety. I've been told I have ordered one for my sister also. I don't remember doing this, and I think it has subconsciously made me infect another one of my family members. On the bright side, the plush is exactly as advertised. Very good quality, and it ship well and quickly. There's nothing wrong with it, and you should totally buy it for one of your family members. Five out of five stars. Please buy me. I mean this. The best gift I could ever give my husband. I bought this for my husband for Valentine's Day. It works great, built great, yada yada yada, but the thing about it is the chaotic joy it brings our household. We break it out at every occasion, to wake each other up, to provide hold music, to play a moving and slightly out of tune rendition of Taps when our beta fish passed away. Truly, its use is no, no bounds. Sometimes we even bring it on road trips. To be clear, we are both horrible playing it. That makes it even more fun. Couldn't recommend this more. Everyone should own one. Especially since it's the Hatsune Miku version. Look at this. Perfection. I look forward to someone covering Magical Cure Love Shot with this. Oops, all Carlac. Not all Carlac, but a clear bias towards your character. Hardly any Gale or Will, and a ton of random Tavosies, which wasn't ideal. Sticker quality was mid. Perfect for Carlac fans. So much Carlac. Man. Who knew that society would fall in love with a demonic, tall, muscly woman so fast? Literally, I don't know. And this snap doesn't work. I can't snap away these bills, but sure it does look good on my desk. This Shrek rocks. Bought this Shrek to adorn the top of a trophy for a special guy at work who did something very out of his way to help me. His name at work is Shrek, obviously. The Shrek figure is a collector level quality and has good detail, accurate coloring, proportions, and comes with a nice stand that holds the feet in place to help prevent tipping over. Look at how powerful that is. What a beast. Nice decal. Your mom loves it. Oh, man. Uh, human, what are you and your friends doing? Oh, we're playing something called Dungeons and Dragons. What is it specifically about? It's about a bunch of people making their own characters according to a set rules and mechanics to have players roleplay and explore an imaginary world of fantasy. You wanna join? I don't see why not. Where do I begin? One hour later. All right, finally my turn. I would like to cast firebolts on the goblins in the back in case of archers. Wouldn't it be better to use fireball to clear out more of them? I'm saving that in the event we get swarmed by more of them. Five goblins shouldn't be wasted for a single fireball. I love it when things go right. Anyways, roll for accuracy. Why was that one in It? Were, were they an android? Oh no, it's like a preference, like Davy and Joey. You know, one is a she, the other is a he, even if that seems flopped. But they seem off, like synthetic. They got the tism, cacao. Ah, that explains the best friend status. Oh! I do believe this is in the part where I say, LOL, got them. Human, how did your species know about F-Zero? Human? You're telling me that what I can describe as a speedster's dream is real? It, yes. Builds a jet hover car. Wait, how did you know about this sport? 
shows a cartridge of the game F Zero for the SNES. Your species is a weird bunch. I know. Shut up, Logan. What is happening in the night sky? Huh? Oh, you mean the Aurora Borealis? We just call them the Northern Lights. The what now? The Northern Lights. Typically, you can see them in far northern places around here on Earth. I don't really know if the Antarctic parts of the planet get it when it's the same time of the year south of the equator, but then again, you never know. What? Logan, you humans have a very weird and strange way of explaining things. I know, but then again, I have a mental disability which makes me different from others with their minds and how to either process or maintain things within the normal human body. Can we go see it? Sure, but it'll be a bit of a drive to get more outside of the city. Honestly, it's pretty rare to see it in a big city like this. After a 30-minute drive outside of the city. So, this is one of your seven wonders of the world. Yep. As far as I can tell, Canada is the biggest place across North America where you can see it. It also sometimes goes down into the American mainland, but it also depends on the situations and how rural it is. American what now? It's weird earthling shenanigans that we do. It's also the reason why our planet isn't united. You humans are really weird creatures. Tell me about it. Human John, what is that music that human Ian listens to when he's working out? Ah, uh, that'd be funk music. Funk? Is that one of your slang words I'm unaware of? No, 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 no. Funk is a subgenre of hip hop music that combines samples from 90s rap tapes and trap music to make the music that you can feel. Music you can feel? What do you mean by that? Here, let me play a few tracks for you. 10 minutes later. Whoa. So, what you think? I feel like I can fight a whole swarm of space crabs. So, do you have any fictional characters that look a bit like Earth species? Well, this tardigrade vaguely resembles a mascot from back home called Murphy the Macreth. Oh? Yes, he was a popular character among younglings drawn in a style that would be considered... Uh, how do you say it? Kawaii, by Earth standards? There were cuddly toys and figurines made of him, and even jewelry decorated with his likeness. So, you're telling me, Space Hello Kitty? What? Human, I've been doing some research about disabilities, and I found something called Attention Deficit Hyperactivity Disorder, the commonly known as ADHD. Well, what, what is that exactly? Oh, it's a neurological disability that can impair brain activity and hinder a person's life to some degree. I have it. And how exactly does it hinder you? Oh, it causes me to have trouble focusing on tasks and things like that. I can also get hyper-focused on stuff that really interests me. And what interests you? <laughs> That's a rabbit hole you don't want to go down. Is that so? Trust me, the amount of stuff I like is really long. I'm sure it's not that bad. One hour rant later. Holy hell, that's a lot. And that's not even half of it. Not even! How many things are you interested in? Too many. Oh, and don't get me started on autism, which is another neurological disability that I have. It just... Becomes a chatterbox about neurological disabilities. This human is strange. Oh, hey, is that not for a... Yeah, uh, I will throttle you if you tell me Count Orlock is an actual alien species. I was going to say that's a human we experimented on many cycles ago. That is arguably worse! Human, what are you doing? Oh, it's called origami. I'm basically folding a sheet of paper and turning it into decorative shapes and figures. Fascinating. Another form of autistic expression. May I see what figure you're making right now? Sure. In fact, I was just about to finish when you showed up. Here you go. Human, is, is that me? Yep. It, it took me quite a bit to figure out how to get your figure just right, but eventually managed to... Y you okay there, buddy? I'm currently experiencing what you humans call tears of joy. Human Zach, you mentioned something about having a peanut allergy, correct? Yeah, why? Nothing. Just neat how another species can have the same afflictions we do. Wait, really? Yes. In fact, Muzak's skin catches fire if he touches anything with pork in it. Holy shit, our allergies don't get that extreme. Uh, oh. Human, how does your species know about the Guardians? <sighs> what species from media are you talking about now? Points to Garn 47 from Hit Game. Garn 47. <clears throat> how? Why does this keep happening? I need 
fantasy stories geared towards adults with the aesthetics and whimsy of books for children. Not everything needs to be gritty and realistic, especially magic escapism. You know, they got a point here. You wouldn't pirate a- I would steal anything from any company. Anything in the world. I don't even want it. I just hate you. Just saw an only one bed fic with a major character death warning. Oh, I guess that's one way to solve that problem. This bed ain't big enough for the both of us. In my mind, it's always girls and cars and sun and sand and bitchin' tones and pizza party pool parties. But then, there's the evil flaming skull. I'm sorry, is this the Barbie movie plot? I'm pretty sure it is. My cats have this meow that means, please come with me to fix this. After which, they'll lead me to the problem in question. Usually an empty or empty food bowl or a closed door that won't open. They look at the problem. They look back at me. Clear message. What fascinates me is how this illustrates what they perceive as being in the realm of my power. I control the food. I control the door. Sure. But my cats love to sit on the balcony in the sun and it has happened plenty of times that on a rainy day, they come get me, go to the balcony, and show me the rain. Please fix this, they say. Please get rid of the wet. <laughs> Silly kitty, I say. I can't control the rain. And then I walk into the shower and turn on the rain. Telling a joke to a classroom. What does the cowboy cat say? Kitty up? Meow. What the fuck did you just say? Were you... Were you just funnier than me? I need the internet to start being kind to get hold up. When? When has the internet been kind? How do people who don't do art have fun? Do you stare into space? Do you eat dirt? Do you open a portal to hell? I'm confused by non-artists. If I weren't an artist, I'm pretty sure opening a portal to hell would be a close second, you know. I don't know, I can't win right now. I'm pretty sure... Non-artists go hiking, yes? If it's hiking, like, God, it's so scrap. I love when evil aristocrat characters have evil forms of address. Your royal lowness, your disgrace, your dishonor, your unholy majesty. Prime Minister! Did you, did you just kick down your own door? Listen, I was in a hurry. Hey, what's that noise I heard on my walk to the dorm bathroom last night? Just Greg. Be glad it wasn't unjust, Greg. I apologize for the bees. I haven't slept in 24 hours, and the bones are approaching. This is the most Dark Souls line I've ever heard on this goddamn website. Oh, there he is. The barren area. His arrival was foretold in ancient murals. Mm. Executive dysfunction is literally like, oh, I've had a random dollar on my floor for two weeks, and I don't know when I'll fit it in my schedule to pick it up. People don't realize this. Depressed necromancers be like, surely summoning many ghouls would improve this situation, right? Moloch, go to therapy. No! The ghouls! Guy. What? A gay person? On this site? On the gay site? On the site specifically filled with gay people? This site? How gay is he? This page? Gay place? Especially in populated areas? Where? Where's this gay person? Uh, are, are they single? Are, can I... Can I kiss them? Just heard a customer at two aisles over go, Hey, I think this is that special glass that doesn't shatter when you drop it. Followed by the sound of shattering glass. I hate retail. Just found out my co-worker is an anti-vaxxer. We're microbiologists. I work with a flat earther at an airline. I think the scariest part of having triplets is being pregnant for 27 months. How did Beyonce's album go number one in a hundred countries when there's only like seven? Asia, Africa, Antarctica, Australia, North and South America, and Europe? That argument makes no sense. Just because someone has studied the subject doesn't mean they're experts. My mom's got all these cookies, cakes, and snacks. I think I'm a diabetes. Well, at least it's not diarrhea. C418 Sweden. What is a new Roblox code? I challenge you to name a show better than the Big Bang Theory. You can't. 
like Titanic is obviously fake because how do you record it when they're all like dying in the water? What does quarter till four mean? Like, why is it called that? Because the quarters were 25 cents, so why is it 15 minutes? Did they? Did they come up with 911 as the police number after 9-11? You just need to say good riddance to all the fake people in your life. Ugh. Happy Labor Day! Be thankful for all the mothers who went to labor for their kids, because that's what this holiday is all about. <clears throat> Oh my god. Atlanta spelled backwards is Atlanta. Oh! Ah, don't go Jason Waterfalls. I love that song. Twitter is my alter eagle. <laughs> hey Xbox support, what's better for Xbox? GTA V or GTA 5? Are you there? Yeah, Derek Rose trying to speak on national television like he doesn't have a speech peppermint. <laughs> a person who loves you will never kick you when you're down or pour salad on your wounds. <sighs> I'm sick of the US government. I'm moving to California. Fuck the US. Asked my therapist who their therapist was and went to see them. Asked them the same thing until I got to the final boss therapist and defeated them with my train wreck of a life. Being an old timey doctor would rule. Just drunk as hell like, yay, you got ghosts in your blood. You should do cocaine about it. I knock over a plant in the kitchen, but my cat saw me, so I had to spray myself with water so I could show that the law applies to everyone. I've been building my son's trust for two years with high fives. Today, I'm going to hit him with a too slow. Welcome to the real world, son. When you meet his homeboys and you got the ugliest one. My girl like this and I don't know how to feel about it. Guys, what does it mean when your wife sends this one to you? Is it, am I cooked slash positively or cooked slash negatively? Imagine if your dad was a minotaur and your mom was a mermaid and you got the human half of both and now you're just, you're just some guy. Is there an anime for this one? When I'm behind a slow car, I steer my car a little to the right so people behind me can see that it isn't my fault, Steven. Update on the 2024 Splatoon World 3 Championship, blah, 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 winners were being idiots. You know the drill. What did they do? Get caught j off the shiver marina pizer. Hell, I do it every day. Nothing wrong, right? Oh, you were so close. It was racism. And keep that to yourself, love. Damn. Okay, sorry. Better the Starbucks words were small. Small coffee, what word do I say when I order? Please hurry! Someone please! Oh, good. Asked for a small coffee and the breeze told me to kill myself. All I've ever wanted is a modest little home. Nothing fancy, a usable kitchen, a yard for the dog, a secret bookshelf door that hides a sprawling candlelit Victorian library with rolling ladders and a kindly ghost librarian. I don't ask for much. When a newspaper appears and zooms towards you while rapidly spinning, you know you're about to read a real bombshell of a headline. Oh, felt that little breeze outside. Not to overreact, but uh, happy Halloween. Amazing. They managed to fit fruit juice in a perfectly sealed box. I'll use the straw to investigate. Husband built a fire in the fire pit and then stared at it with his hands on his hips for like five minutes and said, Wow, fire's so sick. Cavemen must have been so pumped. You know, when you want to you watch that one wholesome anime about girls throwing the Bible, I don't know, pan down, pan down, no, 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 no. I want tits. Oh, well, here's a nice pair for you. I think they mean milkers. Ah, my mistake. Here you go. No, I think they won't. They won't. Boobies. Man, you people really like birds. No, I think they meant they want to. They want to. They want to see. Chest. Ah, oh, fine. Go ahead. Open it. Okay. Congrats, it's a friend. Perhaps they meant breasts. Breasts? How ridiculous. Fucking breasty, can we get all of this guy? No, 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 no. They're asking to see some big old chucks. Uh, 
Oh, oh, oh! I got you. It's a high quality set right there. Otters! Otters! Relentless crowd, are we? Mm. OP, I think they're looking for sh <laughs> shoulder boulders. Shoulder boulders? Ah, you mean pauldrons! They are quite shapely like boulders. For crying out! <laughs> Whoa, man, y'all can't make up your minds. Fresh off the grill. No! I want a massive rack! Get a little of the rack on this one. <laughs> we demand jugs! More jugs, I gave you guys those! Maybe naturally crafted isn't your thing? Perhaps plastic? <laughs> well, what about b bazookas? Well, I suppose. How about two? No, they want to see a pair of honkers. Ah, <laughs> more birds? I swear, y'all have a hyperfixation. I, I, I think they want chests. Fine. I promise this one isn't a mimic. It's definitely a mimic, isn't it? Oh, come on. You think I'd pull the same trick twice? Open it. Well, it wasn't a mimic. Let's see where you all landed. <clears throat> I believe they are desperately requesting female mammary glands of the humanoid variety, specifically ones of large size. Quite the silly request in my opinion. I actually like the birds and the jugs. Oh, well, why did they just say so? I only have an elf though, I hope that's okay. Reblog this if you are LGBT plus, support LGBT plus, or want to violently fling yourself into the sun. Is all of the above an option? Writing prompt. An alien and a sentient robot being roommates, trying to convince the other that they are human, while simultaneously believing that the other is the peak of humanity, leading to hilarity. Mm -hmm. Call that show Beep Boop and Gleep Glop. Behold, the Game of Thrones series with a sticky tag for every time someone utters the word cowabunga. Now, wait, hold on. See that blue one right there? That, that's, uh, that, that's, not, that's not a cowabunga. That's a cowabummer. Everyone shut up! I'm busy having a fake relationship with a fictional character right now. Don't! Don't stop me! How's the job search going? Well, do you have experience in cucumber? Yes, no skip. What is it? Uh, I'm like I experience in caring. Get out. Heart. How many catamoticons did you kill to make that heart? <laughs> what, what? Less than three. Probably bad RPG ideas. Circle of protection against capitalism. This is called forming a union. 10 out of 10 edition. A good Sumerian inexplicably donated five packs of 500 temporary tattoos to the classroom each pack featuring identical pictures of a different invasive species of bug. I meant Samaritan, you jackasses. I was typing with one hand because I was putting on one of the temporary tattoos and it got auto-corrected. <clears throat> oh wait, the video's not done. Shoot, that's usually, that, that's usually something I say for the end. Oops. If we were to actually name Earth's moon, what would it be? Go on, chat. Give me your answer. Do you like boys? Things my homophobic pet boa constrictor whispers to me in my sleep. Three plus four being bigger than one plus you combined is wild. First graders be like, name something that fell off harder than Subway. You literally can't. The parts on Boeing Air and spacecrafts. How dare you leave these in the tags? I don't know, man. Subway tomorrow could tell me that their Subway sandwiches cure clinical depression, and I still wouldn't go. In World War I, around 8 million horses died, but in World War II, it was only under a million. Which can only mean horses started to evolve bullet resistance. I could convince Joe Rogan that this is real. Personality. I don't give a fuck! Anxiety. I do. 
No post has ever described my life accurately as this one. You know, the you can be whatever you want when you grow up crowd is uh vanishing when the boy wants to grow up to be a girl. Funny how that works. If a person from Wisconsin is a Wisconsinite, then is a person from Paris a parasite? Well, that's not very <laughs> of you. Do you want to know why my brother is crying? Because my mom told him he can't have sugar. Not sugary foods, mind you, but pure, full-on sugar in a bowl. Now he is screaming his little lungs out. Save me, Tumblr. Reblog this post only if you're older than it. People born after July 27th, 2024, do not interact. Fuck off, dude. You can't be saying that, white baby. <laughs> Fucking handles called freshly baked baby. Don't be bullied into thinking. Really is just Twitter's mantra, isn't it? Nothing can ever stop this man from fighting for our country! Phone spares. Health insurance is cool, cause you get to pay a bunch of money each month for nothing, and then if something happens to you, you have to pay a bunch more! It's great! You can try it! Hey, why is the winner of Miss Universe always from Earth? No, 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 hold on. I got a point. I won't get vaccinated, I won't wear a mask, I oppose universal health care, I ignore infant mortality rates in the poorer states, migrants are illegal, we need more guns on the streets, I'm fine with cutting WIC and SNAP, and I think the death penalty is just swell. I'm pro-life. I read this and I thought, oh, someone who has all my same positions. Then I realized you're mocking us. <gasps> Oh my god, you get it! Good job! Mm, hot days like this are perfect for refreshing Italian bubble tea. No, 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 this actually hurts to look at. Why? No. <laughs> eh, little treat culture's gonna get a hand. You don't need an $8 coffee because you did laundry. Sounds like someone who could use a little treat. Hey, do you think if the mask was more mainstream, he'd have been a Tumblr sexy man? Hold on. We're on to something. Behold, great value DiCaprio and generic Cruz. Delete this. Right fucking now. You know, the worst part of being a good listener is that people get creeped out by the information I've retained about them just from listening. <laughs> Oops. When I get married, my wife will be in the kitchen where she stays, and I will also be there because it's also our bedroom. We live in a very small studio apartment because we are poor. Having in the first half there, not gonna lie. Hey, why is it spelled camouflage and not... Not what? Bro, it's not loading. Just some chill folks talking about music in my office earlier this year. Andrew, how come you didn't show off your legs like the rest of the guys? It would have blinded the entire room and sent Mark to the hospital. <laughs> oh, Mark. Oh, Mark, you precious little bee. You know, if cis people don't want us using the Latin prefix cis, meaning same side of, we could always use the Greek synonym homo instead. Trans people would be heterogender and cis people would be homogender. Problem solved. Ah, a delicious beverage. Splendid. I shall partake right away. Do Americans actually get an ego for their 18th, or was everyone fucking with me? No, no, it was true, but unfortunately, the ego the child ratio has become very askew. I truly hate disloyal people. <laughs> Eric. <laughs> Bro. <laughs> Homie. <laughs> Your father has cheated on every one of his wives, including your mother. Ah, uh, my ability to dissociate has become too powerful. Now I'm just watching the fall of America be like, hmm, yeah, that happens to empires. Well, I look for dog hats on Amazon. After three BAFTAs and one Emmy, finally we have won an Oscar. Please welcome Oscar James Ramsey, who touched down 1258 today for some lunch. Well, 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 well. Raw isn't so bad now, is it, Mr. Ramsey? He sits in his little cocoon and holds my hand while I work. <laughs> I don't deserve him. Having another gawk? We gotta get out of bed faster than this morning. <laughs> I mean, girl, girl, but gawk works better. 
I didn't even question it. I was nodding along like, I'm literally right there with you, Gork. Help. The cheese is haunted. Contrary to popular belief, mimics aren't wild animals, but a domesticated shapeshifter with the purpose of protecting items. This not only means that they can be tamed, but they make very good pets that are loyal and protective. They also enjoy protecting magic items, so maybe give them that Holy Avenger you've been keeping in a death grip for the past week. Steven? I am going to sit you down and request that you watch a 15 minute video while I gauge your reaction to see if you're laughing at the right parts. I cast two 45 second unskippable ads. I cast sponsorship by Ray Shadow Legends. I cast ad blockers that are against YouTube's terms of service. I cast don't care 10,000 beam attack. <laughs> What is even the difference between an elf and a high elf? Stop talking about ring! When people give me compliments, I feel like a vending machine trying to accept a wrinkly dollar, and it's really just frustrating for everyone involved. I've never related to anything more in my life. I even make the same noise a vending machine would make when getting complimented. It's like, you look good today. <laughs> oh, I love books. I love them so much. I'm such a bookworm. Cool, how many did you read this year? Okay, so here's the thing. I did not come here to be attacked in this manner. Get out of my house. You're so considerate. Thanks, I was raised in constant fear of upsetting people, so, you know. Today someone told me I'm nice and I literally said, Thanks, it's the emotional trauma. Does anyone else with intrusive thoughts do that, like, weird dismissive head shake when they get them to kind of, like, reverse slash reject the thought, or is that just me? Yeah, you gotta shake your brain like an Etch-a-Sketch and start over. I feel sad because nobody knows me as the guy who loves crocodiles anymore. I used to be so vocal about it. I still love them with all my hearts, those big boys. Crocodiles are filled with hate. You're gonna be filled with bullets if you keep running your mouth. Presidential alert! A red panda was just born at the Chattanooga Zoo. <sighs> Look at him. Because drawing a background killed my grandma, okay? At the moment, how I feel. Yeah, my uncle broke his neck shading once. Not good. I don't identify as a boy or a girl. I identify as your fucking problem. Hey, are you ugly on purpose, Pickles? Uh, how could you say that to him? He's just a little guy. Okay, I'm gonna, I'm gonna totally bosh this impression, but I would have gotten complaints if I didn't include the bottom part to this, so I gotta do it. I'm sorry. It's just out of my wheelhouse. I need to research why Pokemon cards are so expensive. Computer, show me Pokemon inflation! Dexter, no, no, no! You will not use AI to get ideas for your story. You will line the floor and have wretched visions like God intended. New evidence suggests that people's rear ends are getting heavier. But wait, there's more. <laughs> Going about my day-to-day -day life as though I am an ancient automaton, long since overgrown by nature. Still shambling about in a mockery of my long forgotten former purpose. Wally, that the that the that the plot on the movie. Well at least the the lore. Seriously though, rats are like the greatest. They've got tiny little grabby hands, sniffy little noses with whiskers, I mean is anything better than a rat? Yeah. Two rats. Why did you learn Finnish? To communicate with my parents and extended family. You see, at age one, I started to feel a bit hungry and decided I should start speaking so my parents would feed me. Hope this helps. To the one YouTube comment that's likely going to ask that they don't get this joke, they are actually Finnish. They were born Finnish. They learned Finnish. Willoughby is very gentle and kind. She never uses violence. But violence is so awesome. Okay, d don't lie to me. Willoughby may not use violence, but that is the look of a cat that definitely has mastered psychological warfare. On God, we're gonna get you some will to live, bro. You know, people accusing the MCU of queerbaiting has always seemed off base to me because queerbaiting implies a level of emotional character interaction that the MCU has overall staunchly refused to feature. Nobody is even friends. Getting queerbaited by the Marvel Cinematic Universe is like losing at chess to a dog. Not even a smart dog like a German Shepherd. I'm talking yellow male Labrador levels of dumb. Weeb. Is. Is this a submission or an accusation? Why can't it be both? Hey, come here. Listen to me. Don't sabotage your peace because chaos is familiar. Remember that. 
At the start of every month, everyone reblogs some insane poetry that's like, August has arrived, and again I swallow my bones in the burning sun. And every time I'm like, damn, that makes no sense. But kind of true. Hello, August, you piece of shit. By the way, dating sucks is a concept. Meeting up with someone with the explicit goal of figuring out whether or not you want a relationship with them kind of spoils the dynamic. It sucks. It's terrible. Fall in love with your friends like normal people. As expected, this one is a hit with the autism website. I mean, I get it. It is kind of like, you know, animals just do it naturally. They kind of just like bird meets up another bird and performs a silly little dance and see if, you know, they're compatible. But we're humans. We've kind of evolved past that, right? Cast iron? Yeah, that's a pretty common spell to learn. Cast iron becomes more powerful the more seasoned a wizard is. <laughs> You coming to my post and be funnier than me? How dare you? This sucks so bad, I need to. Remember, suicide jokes only worsen my mental health. Put on the best talent show this town's ever seen. There we go. My son is normal. Sir, your daughter pretends to be a city on the internet. Holy crap, I can't believe the entire city of Buffalo, New York is trans, but honestly, I should have seen it coming. Hypothetical scenario for you all. The real King Arthur returns. You meet him, and you welcome him into your home. What is the first thing you do with him? Now keep in mind, this is a man from the 500s. He died in 542. And you are from the 21st century, 2024. One, explain what a TV is. Two, Monty Python and the Holy Grail. <sighs> Never beating the weird bitch allegations. Never beating the weird bitch allegations, Uwu. You sure are post a woo fire. I will be more merciless than Satan himself when I strike you down. Firefox? I can't use Firefox because every time I download it, the world explodes forever and I die painfully. Oh, Try one more time? Please? I mean, at this point, anything's better than Chrome, right? New experiment. Riddle the land of Tevat with cats. Experiment failed. There's no option to pet them. Oh my god, just... Delete the entire game, pull it off the market. It, it can't be fixed. We can't save it, guys. I'm sorry. No, I don't care how hot you think Beto is. Just shut it shut it down. It's done. It's over. Close. You know, tattoos should actually make you more employable because it shows you can sit in place for hours while tiny needles are jammed into your skin. And that's what every corporate meeting I've ever been in has felt like. Why is Mr. Edible staying there? Is he stupid or something? Good lord, look at the motion blur on that cat. Mr. Edible has really been sitting there for a while. Yeah, you know, I hate to bring this up in the middle of a heist, but when I said I was a safe cracker, I meant, like, a mature white guy. You know. Wow. If you look closely, you can see that the Olympics is actually set in the same cinematic universe as Ratatouille. <laughs> Oh my god, I can't breathe. <laughs> what is it about Ratatouille Cinematic Universe that took me out? You know, at this point, I don't even know if I'm breathing correctly. You're not polyamorous. You just need two people to love you at the same time like your parents did it. Ooh, funny, they could almost say the same thing about you. You are alive, you have a home, you have a bed, you have Food, you have clean water. Be grateful. Parents, when you tell them you have a mental illness. My cat just experienced the Aurora Borealis, one of the world's most radiant natural phenomena. She doesn't care. God, this is like when you show your friends your all-time favorite show and they're looking at their phone the whole time. If you don't get hired for an unpaid internship, it literally makes no difference. Just show up and start working. What are they gonna do? Pay you? Spotted at five guys. <laughs> oh my god. <laughs> well, if they don't throw it out, that'd be a loss. Stop shaming people for reading kids' books. Adults' books are about sad people having affairs, while kids' books have a magic treehouse or a worm driving an apple. You tell me who's winning. Yeah, but you can't be the weird guy in the corner of the bookstore reading the kids' books. Daniel. Okay, how about this? No more billionaires. None. After you reach $999 million, every red cent goes to schools and healthcare. You get a trophy that says, I won capitalism, and we name a dog park after you. How's that sound? Just don't give that deal to Musk. You would name the dog park X Park. 
Mm, my favorite part of the Lunchables. The Italian Capri Sun. <laughs> Delightful. For weeks, my parents have been at war against a very resourceful rat, and I've been begging them to call pest control, but no! My dad would rather balance a banana on a 2x4 over a garbage can full of water like a fucking cartoon cat! You do realize, though, if this works, your dad will be bragging about this for the rest of his life. Personally, I think his campaign's going great. JD Vance ridiculed for accidentally revealing explicit dolphin-based search history. Oh. Oh no. I thought I had it all together! If you're reading this, you're on Tumblr. Oh no. Psst, post this cat when they least expect it. No one will ever know. My name is Detective Sleeping, and I'm about to get started on my toughest case yet. The pillowcase. New experiment. Tell children please and thank you our swear words under certain contexts, and see if they become more polite. You know, that, that might actually work. 90% of Doomscrollers always stop just one post before the clouds of uncertainty part and the shining bridge to the future manifest itself. The chariots, clad in shimmering gold, glide across the sky. Golden flecks of sunlight kiss the Doom Scrollers' pallid cheeks, returning them to a rosy hue of healthiness and mirth. Apollo stretches his hand out to them. The pain is gone. The winter has passed. Spring is carried on the backs of rabbits and the fur of honeybees. The nightmare is over. Now put the phone down. Looking through my notes app because sometimes I write creative ideas in there and... His voice was wrapped in a way he had only known spiders to be. What does this mean? That's... That's descriptive, all right. Perplexing, but descriptive. Hydrate! Be more specific. Pour water into your largest face hole. Be less specific? Yeah, it's gotta be really awkward if you're the one person surviving a massive cannonball wound. The guy next to us on this flight straight up brought a plain dodecahedron as his personal item? You guys wanna hear what the most common reply to this was? A new hand touches the beacon. Admire folks a reblog posts which contradict each other. Exactly. Keep him guessing. Objectifying men in armor will literally never get old. Like, mm-mm, work it, shiny boy! Hit him with that old razzle-dazzle, you fucking trash can hottie! Tucks five dollars into your chorus. Throw in some gold coins at the neck opening and hear it rattling all the way down. You know, I appreciate the content warnings and understand their importance, but I can't help but giggle a little bit when I click on a FNAF fic and half the chapters have child death warnings in their notes. Sir, this is the child death game. I think I know what I'm signing up for. Entering the child death and murder fandom. Why the fuck is this place so full of child murder? The fuck do you mean, OP? Isn't Five Nights at Freddy's about a silly little murder robot trying to kill you, an adult security guard? Am I missing something? Oh. Are you in the right headspace to receive information that can possibly hurt you right now? There are three groups of fictional men I find attractive. Absolutely pathetic baby girls. Villainous men who'd never love me back, who'd pretend to love me, but use that affection to walk all over me just like they do everyone else. And fancy men in suits. I am exactly 3,527 days late with this meme. Oh. Saying ow, not because it hurts, but because it seems to be the correct thing to say at the moment, is such a weird human trait. Right up there with oof. There are some internet friends where eventually you start calling them by their real name. And then there's times where it's like, nah, 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 son. Your name is Crispy forever. A relatable autism feel. Trademark. Which piece of my meal do I eat last? Which flavor will be the chosen one that will erase all others and prevail? Oh my god, I thought I was the only one. Boyfriend tells me I'm banned from fixing things around the house now. God forbid women do anything. We as a company are very dedicated to being diverse and hiring people from marginalized communities. Requirements. Master degree. Ugh, this too shall pass. But like, holy fuck.
Hey, 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 don't cry. I went to Manu Island and none of your friends were there. Why are you Manu Island? Here, everyone who is currently working on a thing, whatever that thing may be, good luck with the thing. You can do the thing. You will do the thing. You just have to do the thing. Best wishes, someone who is also doing a thing. One time I dreamt Eminem was my science teacher. He rapped throughout the entire lesson and then dropped the whole thing on Spotify. Scary universe where Eminem was possessed by Lin-Manuel Miranda. I'm just imagining a version of Hamilton with Eminem, and I don't know if that's blessed or cursed. It's a crime that I can't crawl through the TV screen to give my favorite characters a hug. It's not fair. Todd Chavez deserves it. Funniest fandoms are where the fandoms are like, I'm obsessed with this. I don't recommend it even slightly. Anyone I've ever known who enjoys Star Wars. Peer review tags because you're not wrong. Yeah, I've been told the latest show was actually written by people who's never watched the original Star Wars, and to the Star Wars fandom, I say, Oh my god, I'm so sorry, are you okay? Do you need anything? So, you're an RPG fan? List 12 scheduling conflicts that stopped you from playing this week. You shut your mouth! You know how people say that cats and dogs don't feel love the way humans do, but it's like, Oh, they don't love you because they just associate you with warmth and safety, and so you got your company and being near you and spending time with you makes them feel comfortable and secure. Bro, if that's not love, then what the fuck do you think love is? You know, I don't understand why humans made love so complicated when literally it's this. It's this. D that's it, baby. If you feel this. Platonically or romantically, that's it, that's it. Are you pro or anti-ship? Yeah, go outside and talk to people in real life. On one hand, this is my favorite post on Tumblr ever. On the other hand, the dodging the question. There is literally nothing in nature that blooms all year long, so do not expect yourself to do so. I needed this so much. I hate it when people ask me to explain my thought process like, <laughs> if I know. What's going on in a head of yours? Nothing I want to be a part of. Where? Where are all my mutuals and recent PMC of our videos lately? I don't like this. He can ever find me. Well, someone brought this to the Discord, so, uh, Yahoo. I love it when a deer shows up in a sunny meadow and people comment, Oh, old God. In reality, he's horny, lost as fuck, and can't see shit. Yes. Like an old god. Yeah, I don't know if you guys knew this, but like, old mythos? It, like, across all of them? There's a lot of fucking. Like, it's it's concerning. I want to see you and Pakicho fight to the death. In Minecraft, right? R right? When you ask the genie for clothing pocket equality, but you don't specify, so instead of giving women pockets... He takes away all pockets. The genie is secretly a handbag salesman, and you know it. Wow, this basket seems really cool. I should put all my eggs into it. No, 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 don't do it. Girl cats get named after ancient goddesses, and boy cats get named after Taco Bell menu items. These are my two beautiful creatures, Cassiopeia and Cheesy Crunch Wrap Supreme. I just met the mother of an autistic child who thinks vaccines cause autism, but is still... Pro-vaccine. Didn't know people like her existed, to be honest. Yeah, she really joined the war on autism, on the side of autism. The concept that this person leaves H-Bomber guy confused and infuriated. Most of the time, TikTok is awful. But sometimes, rarely, it's gold. Wasn't Freddie Mercury like a serial killer? What? <laughs> oh, wait, Freddie Fazbear is who I'm thinking of, sorry. Oh my god, oh my god, oh my god, this can't be real, this can't be a real person, there's no way, there's no fucking way! Hey, how does Cookie Clicker handle big numbers? Well, we shove everything into a regular VAR, and whatever happens to the Mentessa is between your computer and God. Streamers say mods the same way a medieval lord would say, GODS! The moral of the story is don't try to proofread fanfiction in a class of only six people. You will get caught. I had a thought. But unfortunately, I had a second thought. They ricocheted off each other, and I can't find either anymore. How do you have good handwriting? Because I kind of want it, but I really don't have it. 
Eh, I swear I've tried. For the love of God, do not use chores to punish your kids. It's just going to make them struggle deeply to keep their house as tidy as adults, since you made them associate necessary chores with punishment and suffering, and it's going to take years of therapy to undo. Don't use chores as punishment. Pocket have you tried estrogen? No, but I've tried other things like whitewater rafting and raw fish. The existence of murder implies there is a murd and a murdest. I had a nightmare you were chasing me while saying the most uwu things I've ever heard. Please leave me alone. Spare me. That was a vision. Scan is overrated. I want to be a living suit of armor, please. Violent reminder that my strength is unparalleled. Nuh-uh. Did, did you just stole my awesome? Come on. I'm giving it back for respectful. Worry not, I'm single too. However, I am 15 years old, so have fun being on the level of a high school sophomore. No matter how I respond to this, I lose. PSA reminder to not put peppermint oil on the inside of your glasses. What if I really want to, though? Your eyes will burn. Hope this helps. Well, I gotta test it just to be sure. I warned you. Tumblr, stop showing me the divorced parents ad. Why do you think I'm on here? Listen, I only do unethical magic if it's really funny. <laughs> Work nerd or, uh, orky worky. Today's gender is an insubordinate piece of brass. Okay, that's it. Who the hell stole my waffle iron? What's even the point of being mayor if you don't engage in extreme corruption and cronyism while bankrupting the city? Um, cut him in half. Hot dog or hamburger style, boss. When I was younger, I didn't understand why may you live in interesting times was considered a curse in ancient Greece. I get it now. Doesn't get much more interesting than this. Ideal work schedule. One, I show up and I'm given a list of engaging but achievable tasks. Two, I complete the list. Three, I leave immediately. Yeah, this can't be left in the notes. Four, one million dollar paycheck. Ayo, who up destroying themselves? No. Hey, you want to see a dinosaur? Not from you, no. Wait, dinosaur? I could feel the utter's disdain within that reply. Rick, what did you do? Permission to use lethal force, sir! N no. Sir, yes, sir! Turning back toward customer. Have a great day. If Grinder is the guy's site and Tinder is the girl's site, is Tumblr the NB arrow A site? Well, the answer is yes, but why would anyone draw attention to that? Yes, I am experiencing a normal amount of emotions. Why do you ask? Rice fills me with joy and happiness. But more importantly, it fills me with rice. I think it's really funny that Tumblr is full of people who want asks more than they're getting them, who all seem to think everyone else does not want asks. Mutual. Oh boy, I sure hope someone sends me asks. That'd be so fun. All their mutuals. Oh, it'd be so fun to send them an ask, but surely they'll pelt me with rocks if I say anything. What do red pandas even do? They're red. What else could you ask for? Why do they have to do anything? I meant a self-defense. Stop the hatred. I'm sorry, red pandas. Does this answer your question? Hey, do you think dying on stream breaks Twitch TOS? I imagine so, but it's not like it'd be your problem at that point, right? You know, Chuck E. Cheese is the only restaurant people go to hoping to see a mouse. You don't need to add an S to suffix or a she prefix to every occupation or noun to indicate it's a woman. A druid who is a woman is just a druid. You don't have to call an orc woman a she-orc. She's, she's, she's just an orc. Male isn't the default and female isn't an aberration. I promise it will be okay. Take my hand. Having audio processing issues is so humiliating. Like, yeah, I heard you, and yeah, I was actively listening, but the problem is, I don't know what the fuck you said. It's a shame you can't cool, silent, and mysterious your way to being very close to people. We are, unfortunately, going to have to embarrass ourselves for this. You know, it's all in your head. Yes, exactly. That's where the mental illness goblin lives, chanting and making blood sacrifices. Thank you for recognizing its geographic location. Just saw a very stoned young man in the 7-Eleven looking at the selection of chips sadly and saying softly, There's too many of you. You know, some of you aren't used to the every year being your worst year of your life, and it shows. 
Super Blood Wolf Moon may trigger end of the world this weekend. Whenever you see this blatant anti-moon propaganda, consider the source. Being a good artist is about having artistic talent. It's about practice and having the willpower of a roach that has been smacked 20 times with a rolled up magazine and yet still refuses to die. Unfortunately, our policy team confirmed that your video will not be reinstated. We understand that this wasn't the outcome you were looking for, but please review our policy on answer policy name to avoid this in the future. Sucks when you think of a devastating insult like, you would be a terrible detective. But the person doesn't care about being a good detective, so it doesn't hurt them the way it would hurt you. Sobbing, I'm an apex predator! I'm an apex predator! A seagulls waddle closer and closer to me and my sandwich. Enough is enough! These mosquitoes should learn how to eat bread or some shit! Dudes be like, I hate Monster of the Week format, and then work retail. What's the equivalent of a two-parter in retail? A bad review of your store on Yelp. Man, not knowing about Greek mythology is my Achilles horse. Matt. Uh-oh. I've really opened Pandora's labyrinth here. I started knitting my first ever jumper, but I might just stop here because this is a perfect sized cat blanket. I asked some guy last night if he was a soccer fan or just came to the Austin FC game because it was the place to be, and his response... Do you know the men's national team? I'm the coach. Dude at comic shop keeps bugging the owner, asking if they have any Harry Potter stuff, and when the owner said no, the guy was like, Why, do you not support Harry Potter? Do you not agree with it? And the owner had to be like, No. It's not a comic. According to the small print on this kilo bag of mini eggs, a portion is eight eggs. Eight eggs? What, am I stranded on Mars? Eight eggs? Do you think I'm going to be doing fucking meal prep with mini eggs? Eight eggs per portion? I'm gonna eat eggs in my mouth right now and there's room for more. The bad part of getting older is that you become an NPC. The good part is, is being an NPC rocks. Nothing like walking down the street with a thought bubble that's just a sandwich you're looking forward to. Protagonism is best left to teens and the insane. At my wedding, my cat will be the flower girl and she will be guided down the aisle with a laser pointer. My mom got me this loose leaf tea infuser that's a little man who sits in your cup and has diarrhea. Mmm, the perfect steak. This isn't even well done. This is congratulations. Congratulations! 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 <coughs> Pronouncing popsicles like an ancient Greek name. Popsicles said to Spectacles, Can you see what's going on over there? Spectacles replied. Phycles is trying to drive away, but Tatancles won't let him go. Barnacles insists on coming along, and Obstacles is in the way. You don't have to be an Oracles to see what'll happen next. Pronounce Saxonophy like Persephone, I dare you. Alternatively, Persephone. Um, no, I don't lose hyperfixations. They're just moved to a different, slightly less used shelf in my brain. And then one thing happens and they move back to the front shelf of my brain. Sped up, slowed down. It's nightcore and decor. But your fic only has one kudos. That means it reached the one person it was written for. But your fic has zero kudos and four hits. I know. I wrote it because it haunted me. It doesn't matter who will read it. Um locked in my own head again. Does anyone have the password? Sims 4 official eyelashes got me questioning everything. They look like something off an emo boy band. Why do they bend like that? No, there should be an elephant species that's parasitic. Finally, someone brave enough to say it. Hey, what are rats doing so many small sniffs for? Just, just do the big one and move on, girl. Stop speaking like you're superior. Do you know how much more agile your brain is when you're bisexual? Bilingual? To saw an ad for a mobile game, you start off as a mushroom that grows into a human. If you're a man mushroom, you have 40 waifus. But if you're a woman mushroom, you only get 10 male companions. So anyway, I'm coordinating a march for mushroom women rights. Trope that is probably overused as heck, but will never get old. Huge, stoic, imposing character with a heart of gold. You're telling me this bozo can wipe the floor with their opponent and is incredibly kind and gentle with those they love? Fuck yeah, get you a Lorbo who can do both. Prometheus. Hot take. The Greek gods. No, give that back! <laughs> <clears throat> Shh. 
should not have laughed that loudly. What people think are the sexy parts of women. Butts, titties, lips. What the sexy parts of women actually are. The fangs, the venom dripping from their claws, the terrifying scream that shatters glass, the menacing way she cracks the bones of her enemies. Also the titties. Guy who thinks a misogynist is just someone who worships a god of massages. Let there be light. Let there also be Chicago? No. Y'all know that character I created? I want them in serious mortal danger. No offense, but I've exited out of a program, that program should close. None of that running in the background bullshit. If you kill something, it had better be dead. Task manager, kill him. There is, canonically, a chinchilla Bahal spawn. Bahal fucked a chinchilla. What are you on? The floor, crying. If I ever lose an eye, I don't want a realistic prosthetic. Just shove a gemstone in there and call it good. You know, I think we should terraform Earth to make it completely flat because it'd be fun. I meant completely smooth, but flat would actually be funnier. New flat Earth theory. W we could do it. Who is out here giving these PhDs? Dr. Baby Daisy didn't go through seven years of study for you to shit talk her. She literally didn't even go through seven years on this Earth. The right hairstyle for your face is the one that makes you smile when you see yourself in the mirror, by the way. That being said, shave your head. Now. There is a parallel universe where Tumblr is actually a great functioning site. It's exactly as shitty, but every other social media site is worse by comparison. <clears throat> I went on a bike ride today and saw some graffiti for YouTube.com. Not a channel or anything, just, just, just the website, I guess. Guys, check this out. It's got videos. Here's a fun fact for you all. Mix pickle juice and Sprite. Well, why? Fun fact. Because I fucking said so. The fusion fall designs rage from, hey, that's kind of cool, actually, to, uh, oh. I guess in fairness, how else would Eddie look in an anime style, but it's still really funny. <laughs> you, uh, you doing okay there, boo? Oh, bro. They made ZZZ actually hard. Melatonin. What? Just clocked, you don't mean sleeping. I'm so confused. Modern design has gone too far. Big shoulders to the left, big booty to the right. Where... Where should I go then? Rat bastard is a weird insult. All rats are bastards. I've never seen a rat wedding. Swimmers just before the water's surface tension is broken. What if water just don't let you out one day? I am Dracula, and I love FNAF! Blah 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 blah! Community note. Dracula does not say blah blah blah. Archaeologists have unearthed a Bronze Age grave of a teen girl in Kazakhstan, strangely containing 180 sheep ankle bones. She's just doing normal girl stuff, mind your business. No one's saying shit about your fucking pod collection. Just read about a pair of asteroids in an unstable binary orbit described as a known wobbler with a devoted valet. And if that's not a euphemism for homosexual, then I don't know what is. Yo, the enemy of my enemy! What's up, dude? Where the fuck have you been? Bought a pack of erases the other day and just realized I could do this with them. Is this lesbian erasure? Wisconsin school district bans pride flags and pronouns. All right, class. I shit. I mean, shit. Teacher, want you fucking fuck. Teachers want class to hand it their oh for fuck's sakes. There are no more borders in the European Union. However, you will always know where the Netherlands begin. On this trans day of visibility, let's never forget when Jesus came back to show his lads his top surgery scars. So you're just gonna post art that isn't yours and not credit the artist? He's been dead 150 years. I should be able to Google what I want to eat for dinner. It was an honor to voice Hideo Kojima. Will you continue with this role in the future, Hideo Kojima? No. What if... AirPods had tongues and they started licking the inside of your ears to indicate they're low on battery. Only 12 followers. Good. Low amount. Unlikely to breach containment. <clears throat> hey, what if water didn't have surface tension on every spot on um, the whole floor of your entire apartment was covered in a two micrometer puddle? You've taught me to count blessings I didn't know were mine. Painting the bottom of your pool red instead of blue so you can have Dracula's hot tub. 
That'd be great for a children's hospital. Yes, I love manipulating my friends for my own gain. The gang is called hanging out, obtained via such cruel tactics as showing interest in stuff they like and being generally complimentary and charming. <laughs> you should be able to rot in bed for two, maybe three hours after waking up before it starts affecting what time it is. If I wake up at 8.30 and lie in bed for two hours, it should still be 8.30 when I get up. Y'all ever wonder why people aren't just, like, nice to each other? Like... You could go to the end of the internet browser, type in tiny bean kitty cat, and then it could be on the images. You gotta type. It's practically 2014, and you guys still don't know how to Google if an article is real or not before giving it 100,000 notes. <laughs> you know, rewatching Gravity Falls makes you realize how batshit insane Ford truly was. Lights his face on fire instead of shaving because it's faster. Suggests Rudolph should have murdered the other reindeer for making fun of him. Had a situation ship with a triangle. Whatever the fuck this pose was. Sitcom where people gradually get killed off and their spot on the opening title theme is replaced with dead silence. I'd like to question your definition of sitcom. Opinions on cat boys? Look me in the blog and ask me that again. 89 cents is like the Thursday of money. Horse girl movies rely on Pokemon logic. I think I took melatonin when I wrote this. Writing prompt, turns out every lender has been rejecting you because your kid has an unpaid tab at some little girl's lemonade stand. Your kid's status as a big, mean, stupid head is really hurting your credit. You need to fix this. But how? Boys. Synonyms. Girls. Hmm. Lot to think about here. When you have a hammer, everything looks like a nail. And when you have a favorite character, everything looks like... the character. Lying on the floor. Well, everything will be okay in the end, I think. Ah, uh, setting up again. Everything's shit garbage for real. Oh, I get it. The pain continues, but so does the joy. Cool! Just heard my brother shout over his gaming headset. And who the H-E double fuck are you? You know... Taylor Swift fans' heads would explode if they, uh, encountered the head explosion monster. A reblog to give an asexual a treat. A reblog to give an aromantic a treat. A reblog to give an agender a treat. Got into an argument and this dude locked my glasses. You see my side or no side! If you're served food in a post-apocalyptic wasteland, ask yourself these questions first. One. Do I trust the person feeding me? Two, is this meat fresh? And if so, have there been any livestock non-apocalypsed recently? Three, have I seen Kevin within the past week? Four, am I willing to commit the penultimate culinary taboo? The ultimate culinary taboo is putting pineapple on pizza, a crime I regularly commit. <clears throat> Five, how much did I like Kevin, really? I need to cut my hair. Hair? Cut. It looks kind of stupid. Hey. Well, hello, Tumblr user. I suggest baldness. Do you have a suggestion? Who knew impersonating the most important figure in several world religions would be a hit on the gay website? Hey, oh God, can I have some Jello? Firefox tried using your bullying advice and got reported to the principal. Why advice for that? That's the reward. Now you feel special. It's a feedback loop. Love having absolutely nothing to contribute with, like, my beautiful, sexy mutuals write the most intelligent, insightful posts, and I'm in the tags like, yeah. Is it still insomnia if your sleep schedule is screwed up because you took a nap? Robert De Niro in Heat, and I'm not apologizing. I forgot Heat was the name of a movie, and I had my finger on the block button! Autism brain whenever it feels intense emotion. Ew, what is that? Stop letting miserable people on the internet convince you that you must have a concrete, well-constructed opinion on everything that has ever existed. 
realizing that I don't know shit about shit and that minding my own business costs nothing has been immensely beneficial to my well-being. Girl, help, I had no one that gave away a small but very human part of myself in exchange for immeasurable power. Pineapple is the opposite of goldfish. Care to explain? No. Yes, I want to write my story, but my story doesn't want to be written, so what the fuck am I supposed to do about that, huh? Write a different one to make you jealous. You can pry starting sentences with and or but out of my cold, dead hands. My goal in writing isn't to be a master of the English language, but to portray a feeling and a lot of our feelings are imperfect. Ope, how does it feel to be the most correct person on earth? Please don't eat battery acid, it's not good for you. Mm, yummy. Our RPG trope is the merchants in incredibly hostile environments. We are at an evil curse mountain and you're just selling me items normal style. Unsheath my comically large sword. Boy, You know, a lot of people ask how the dragon is. <laughs> but no one double checks. Had a dream I found a tape labeled sex tape. And when I played it on the VCR, it was just two fully clothed guys beating the shit out of each other with metal bats. You could never understand a warrior's bond. The definition for unhinged should just link to this blog with no context. Well, here are some of my most recent asks. How to stop buying Batman Hot Wheels? What's on my mind? Sugar-free Coca-Cola on sale at your local schlag mart. Horse or realms? Fun fact. Bees! If there is context, I don't fucking have it. Trigger warning. Theft. Body horror. Facial disfigurement. Hehe, <laughs> got your nose. I love seeing carefree fat girls enjoying themselves. You know, you could say big or thick girls and not fat. Anyway, like I said, I love seeing carefree fat girls enjoying themselves. Wish you could have notes on why you have someone blocked. Like, does this person wholeheartedly oppose my existence? Or did they just blurbo tag my post with a Marvel character? Why do bananas have skin? Like, yeah, let me just peel off your skin so I can eat your insides. Like, why, 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 why do we do this? What is the point of banana skin removal? This was in my draft for like two months, and I think this was from that time I was in a manic episode. I am so gorgeous. You probably can't even fathom how incredibly good looking I am. Oh, really? I'd like to see proof of that if you're comfortable with sharing a photo of yourself online. No, I don't want to get banned. I guess that must mean you're too good looking for Tumblr then. I love Tumblr tags so much. Like, okay, here's the main post, and here's my little secret thoughts and addendums for the besties. Yeah, sure, it's set in stone, but what if I have a really big hammer? You know, I should have realized I was trans dude when I dug a five foot hole in the sand on the beach when an older lady said, Oh, my son loves doing that. Boys will be boys. And my mom had to tell her I was her daughter. You know, virginity only matters if you're lighting the black flame candle to summon witches. <clears throat> Actually, when people talk about blood of a virgin, what's actually meant is virgin blood, aka blood that's never been used in a ritual. Therefore, virginity doesn't matter for anything. <gasps> like olive oil, friends. It's not because the olive never had sex. Also, you don't have to light a black flame candle to summon witches. Just put up a sign saying, free mason jaws, all must go, and we'll come running. <sighs> so done with Tumblr. See you all in 10 minutes. I love the word rapscallion. Like, not only are you a rascal, but you're also kind of a spring onion about it, too. Behold, fireflies photographing trees with long time exposure. He was right. I do not believe my eyes. It sucks that womanizer is used to refer to misogynistic men, because it sounds like what Dr. Doofenshmirtz would call estrogen shots. Sticks and stones may break my bones, but words will never hurt me. Yeah, what if I throw a fucking dictionary at you? What then, bitch? Tumblr user GG Sets, I don't know if you explained before GG Sets, but what does your name GG come from, Tumblr user GG Sets? It's my name. Placebos are just fancy gaslighting. Or 
gaslighting is the poet's placebo. Ugh, people will see girls being gay and decide it's actually about guys. Was going to add detail, but this is generally applicable, actually. Sorry for the slow post, I'm with the lovely wife and we're having a ball around town. Uh, imagine having a significant other. Don't have to imagine, because I have one. Hope this made you feel worse. Memorizes your attack pattern. No. No. No! No! In a massive game where three games came together, our party annihilated our focus enemy. When the DM turned dead villain tried to heckle another subtable, the rogue retorted with, If we wanted your opinion, we'd cast Speak With Dead! <laughs> the duality of man. If something ever happens to that cat, we're about to get four movies out of this guy. In 2023, a U.S. art collective released Tax Heaven 3000, an anime dating simulator to help people file federal taxes. You know, after breaking hundreds of artifacts and disturbing a whole bunch of ancient ruins and tombs, the curses kind of blur together. So excuse me! Ayo, hey, new sin just dropped. Forgive me, Lord. For I have shrimped. I was trying to get with a girl that works at a bakery, so I told her I liked baking and tried to make my own sourdough. And now I have a new hobby, and I don't really feel like seeing her later today. No way she got bread zoned. Two million dollars hits your account. What's your next move? Enter the bathroom. Sit under the shower. Let the water wash poverty away for the final time. Breaking news. Tech billionaire Mike Lynch is missing after 18 million dollar yacht sank off Italian coast. Ah, our annual tradition of sacrificing billionaires to appease Poseidon is going well, I see. Fun fact, the forest that Deadpool dance slash fights in the opening of Deadpool and Wolverine is the same forest that Knuckles trains in during the opening of Knuckles' show. Both projects, including Sonic 3, essentially neighbored on Pinewood Studio- Wait, 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 hold on, hold on. Wolverine died in Green Hills? Ladies, gentlemen, vastly more interesting genders, we got him. We finally caught Schrodinger's cat. Shout out to everyone who likes to seal a packet of biscuits by simply pushing the opened end up against the wall. Neurodivergent love languages are so fun. Yes, I will listen to you yap for hours on end about your niche interests. And yes, I will get invested in it. And yes, if you show me your collection of trinkets, I will treasure them like they're my own. Why did they call it the Paris Olympics and not Wii Sports? Can't you just take a joke? No, I have this weird, unusual quirk where when someone is openly mean to me, I get upset. I just remembered that when I got my first dog, I was seven, and he was one. Seven in dog years. And I cried when he turned two because I didn't think a 14-year-old dog would want to hang out with me. Aw, a beautiful cat with homophobia. Whoever coined the phrase righty-tighty, lefty-loosey was probably the greatest communicator in the history of the English language. Do you think he had to workshop it to get it there? Or do you think inspiration struck him like a bolt of lightning? You know, bats have the highest rate of homosexuality amongst all mammals, which is why vampires are gay as fuck. Found a PS2 out by the dumpster. Notice how it doesn't come with games. Oh my God. We've accidentally gaslit 13 year olds into thinking PlayStation never had strong game libraries. One star is too much for this product. I don't know if this is a scam or if mine was broken, but it doesn't work and I am still getting abducted by UFOs on a regular basis. One star, there are no wolves in this movie. Congratulations, EA. You earned one star. Additional stars can be purchased for $5.49 each. Do not buy this book. You can see the ending right on the cover. This book is completely misleading. The entire plot revolves around finding baby's belly button. The title makes this much clearer from the beginning. However, there is no mystery. There is no twist. Baby's belly button is right where it's supposed to be. On baby's stomach. Right where it clearly shows you it is on the cover of the book. This plot is a complete mess as a result of its reliance on the mystery of where the belly button is. Everything falls apart the second they realize that the belly button was in plain sight all along. There is no conflict, there is no character development, and there is scarcely any plot. Whoever wrote this book must have had a serious error in judgment. Because you'd have to be an infant to not immediately understand where baby's belly button is. This is one of the worst pieces of literature I have ever read. 
Not only is it not a cutout of Remy, it's the tiniest pin I have ever gotten, and the image of the pin is blurry. That's not from the photo. I don't think it's worth the money. I'm not a warlock. Can't tell you if this thing lets you see the future, but it's an excellent decoration and has zero aesthetic defects. The stand is pretty, and it's shipped very quickly. Once again, not a warlock. Meh. The photos attached show the obvious inadequacies. It was a fast ship. Looks real? And these are great. Looks like it is lit and has people running to tell you to put it out. I work at an oil refinery and people are going insane. Worth every penny. Use with caution. Whatever amount of this tape you're about to use is too much. Unless it's something you never want to come off for the rest of eternity. If you got a mummy's tomb to seal, this is the tape you want for the job. If there's an earthquake and California is about to fall into the Pacific Ocean, the government had better use this stuff to keep it in place. Had Abraham Lincoln had this tape in 1860, the South would not have been able to secede. This stuff is so strong, it transcends the physical realm. It will keep your relationship together. If your boyfriend is about to leave you, just take this out of the drawer and show it to him. You don't even need to apply it. Its power is so strong he will be unable to leave you. This tape creates a bond that cannot be broken. Use with caution. Psychology tricks are just socially acceptable manipulation techniques. Absent-mindedly starting doodling Yukari onto a scar on my arm at work before remembering that drawing Toho girls onto wounds is not a socially acceptable thing to do? Well, why not? I don't know, I just work here. I was doodling around a scar to make it look better, not socially acceptable. Me. See you soon. The Invisible Man. N no. Y you won't. I'd love to get tumbled. Dry. You're dead serious. I'm alive silly. We're not the same. Call me coniferous evergreen the way I... Pine? Warrior Cats AU, where everything is exactly the same, but it's told from the perspective of an extremely baffled and horrified guy trying to make a nature documentary about wild cats. Hey, guy, what's up with the Bermuda Triangle? The what? Revenge of the Sith AU, where Anakin can't kill any younglings because they set up hundreds of space Home Alone-style booby traps around the Jedi Temple. <laughs> he opens the door, a bucket full of sand unloads his content all over his head. Sorry for talking about my fix instead of writing them. It will happen again. You wouldn't want to wake up the sweet sleeping Wulu, right? Better take the long way around. No, 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 I would never wake up the babies. This is the first arbitrary barrier in this series I will accept. I'd be unstoppable if I didn't have to worry about time, or money, or having a body. Shirk from Goodwill in Austin, Texas. He is risen. How do people win at life? That bitch is hard to beat. I honestly think life's cheating. Hacks. I call hacks. Pay to win. Well, 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 if it isn't my old friend, the dawning realization that I fucked up real bad. It is very weird to me that there are children who were born after Nintendo stopped developing games for the 3DS. You've considered the triplications, but have you, uh, pondered them? <laughs> How did Transform Warriors infiltrate the city of Troy? <laughs> the Esh Trojan Horse. Sure wish you didn't let Tumblr go now, huh, Yahoo? I am done, bye.